ஆரம்பம் குர்மக பிரார்த்தனா ஹவாமகே கவிம் கவீனாம் உபமஸ்ரவஸ்தமம் ஜேஷ்டராஜம் பிரம்மணாம் பிரம்மணஸ்பத ஆனஸ்ருண்வன்னூத்திபிசாதனம் ஓம் ஸ்ரீ மகாகணாதிபதையே நம ஓம் குருர் பிரம்மா குருர் விஷ்ணு குருர் தேவோ மகேஸ்வர குரு சாட்சாத் பரபிரம் தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குரவே நம ஓம் பிரணோ தேவி சரஸ்வதி வாஜே பீர்வாஜினீவதி தீனாம் அவித்ரியவத்து ஓம் ஸ்ரீ மகா சரஸ்வத்தியை நம ஓம் சதா சிவ சமாரம்பாம் வியாச சங்கரமத்தியமாம் அஸ்மதாச்சாரிய பரியந்தாம் வந்தே குரு பரம்பராம் ஓம் மாதேவோ பவ பித்ருதேவோ பவ ஆச்சாரிய தேவோ பவ அதிதி தேவோ பவ ஓம் அசத்தோ மா சத்கமய தமசோ மா ஜோதிர்கமய மிருச்சோர்மா அமிர்தம் கமய ஓம் சாந்தி 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 அது சுதினம் அஸ்தி அதேதசம்ஸ்கிருதி சமிதி வேதசம்ஸ்கிருதி சமிதி பட்சத்த அகம் பாஷணம் கருமி ஆஹ்வானம் கருமி இந்தனமே மம மனசி ஆனந்த மகன் மகான் ஆனந்த ஜாயே சர்வேபியோ நமோ நம சர்வேபியோ சேதசம்ஸ்கிருதி சமிதி சதசியாபியம் நமோ நம அதாக்கம் வேதசம்ஸ்கிருதி சமித்தியாக பஞ்சஷிதம பிரசங்கம் ஆரம்பம் குர்மக பஞ்சஷிதம பிரசங்கம் அஸ்தி அதசங்கம் அதா டாக்டர் சி எஸ் ஆர் பிரபு மகோதய ச மகோதய அஸ்மாக்கம் சுபரிச்சிதம் வேதசம்ஸ்கிருதி சமித்தியாக வெபினார் மத்தியே பகு பிரசங்கி மகோதய தத்தவிக்ஷிபிராணி அப்படி நிர்வகித்தோகசிக்ஷணம் தத்தவந்த அதாக்டர் பிரபு மகோதய பகவதீதாத்திய சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் பகவதீதா அம்சம் ஸ்வீகிருத்த பிரதம பாகம் விவரணம் கூத்தவான் அதேவ அம்சிய பாகம் பிரச்சலி டாக்டர் ஹி இஸ் அன் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர் ஆரேட்டர் கிரேட் ஆரேட்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர் அண்ட் ஹி இஸ் வெல்வர்ஸ் அண்ட் வர்ச்சுவல் ஜீனியஸ் ஹூ காட் கமாண்ட் ஓவர் பகவதீதா யோகா சான்ஸ்கிரிட் லாங்குவேஜ் எட்செட்ரா சோ மெனி எஜுகேஷனல் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஹி இஸ் வெல்வர்ஸ் இன் பரத்வாஜா விமான சாஸ்திர அண்ட் ஹி இஸ் bearing so many uh, high designations dr csr prepu mahodayam aakvayami upanyasam arambham karoti iti prarthayami dr prepu mahodaya uh, agachantu i request dr csr prepu garu to start his uh, lecture welcome sir ஜோ மோ குருஜா 
Sir, your voice is very feeble. Will you be able to come a little closer to the mic? Yes, sir. Now it's audible. It's nice. Okay, friends. Uh, we are lucky to have one more session on the Bhagavad Gita under the. Sir, some more, some more audacity, sir. It's not audible, sir. It's not so clear. You have to increase, sir. It's uh, even uh, a little more. I don't know what to increase. Now, as you come near, we are able to hear you, sir. Yeah, okay. Now? Now? Is it okay now? No, sir. Not yet. It is generally feeble. The audio is feeble. I think you have to increase the le uh, level of the sound of your laptop or cell or something. Yes, the volume you should increase. Yes, volume should be increased. In the settings, in the settings audio settings, you have to increase.
not audible sir exit and come back now your voice is clear sir shall i continue yes sir you can continue Okay, I am continuing. Is it clear? Are you able to hear me and see me clearly? Very clear, sir. Okay. Now I will start with the comments of Adi Shankaracharya on the the origin and the background of uh, the Bhagavad Gita. i will read out in sanskrit first then i will explain and i will explain the management principles based on bhagavad gita after that narayana paro avyakta andam avyakta sambhavam andasya antas vime loka sapta dvipa cha medini sa bhagavan srishtva idam jagat tasya sthitim chikirshu marichale agre srishtva प्रजापतीन प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म ग्राहयामासा वैराग्य लक्षण ग्राहयामासा तो धर्मो द्विविधा प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म निवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म नारायण अपन creating the universe gave the pravrutti lakshana dharma to prajapati and others and he gave the nivrutti lakshana dharma to sanaka sanandana the munis meant for moksha so both are dharma only dharma hai dvividha pravrutti lakshana dharma hai nivrutti lakshana dharma jagatah sthiti karanam praninam sakshat अभ्युदय निश्रेस हेतु यधर्म यो अभ्युदय निश्रेस सिद्धि सधर्म वैशेषिक सूत्र कणाद वचन तदेव अगवत्द पुनरुक्तवान अभ्युदय निश्रेस स्थिति सिद्धि हेतु सधर्म ब्राह्मणाध्य वर्णि आश्रमादिश्च श्रेयोर्धिष्ठात्रूणाधर्मेणाक्षो विष्णु भौमन से ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण से रक्षणा देवाख्या वसुदेवांशन कृष्ण किल संभूव्य संबूव ब्राह्मण से ही रक्षण रक्षित वैदिको धर्म तदीन वर्णाश्रम धर्म भगवान ऐश्वर्य शक्ति बल वीर तेजो सदा संपन्न त्रिगुणात्मका वैष्णवी माया प्रकृति वशीकृत अजो अव्यो भूता निशुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त सत्य स्वभाव अभी सन् स्वयवा लोकानुग्रह कुरते स्वयोजना अभाव अवैदिक धर्म अर्जुनाय वैदिक धर्म अर्जुनाय शोक मोहदनाय उपदेश गुणाधिक गृही तो अनुष्ठीयम धर्म प्रचय गमीष्यमती संधर्म भगवता यथो उपदेश वेदव्यास सर्वज्ञ भगवान गीताख्य सप्तभ्लोक श्लोकशत उपनिबंध तदिद गीताशास्त्र समस्त वेद अर्थ सार संग्रहूत दुर्विज्ञाध 
ತದರ್ಧಾವಿಷ್ಕಾರಣಾಯೈ ಅನೇಕೈರ್ ವಿವೃತ ಪದ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಧನ್ಯಾಯ ಅತ್ಯ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ವಿರುದ್ಧಾನೆ ಅನೇಕಾರ್ಧತ್ವೇ ಲೌಕಿಕೈರ್ ದುಃಖ್ಯಮಾನ ಉಪಲಬ್ಧ ವಿವೇಕತೋ ಅನ್ ನಿರ್ಧಾರಣಾರ್ಧಂ ಸಂಕ್ಷೇಪತೋ ವಿವರಣ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಧರ್ಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿ ಅವತಾರ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಮಹಾಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರೋ ಹರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಉಪದೇಶ ಆಫ್ ಗೀತಾ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಿಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಜಯ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಭಾರತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ನೌ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಶಂಕರ ಮಠ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ of 700 odd shlokas was already available but the original version of vyasa was called jaya narayana namaskritya narancheva narottamam jaya mudi that's what jv saraswati jaya jaya mudi he said jaya the word jaya was used it was only 10000 shlokas accordingly the bhagavad gita must have been much smaller in the original version and the inter- intermediary version of bharata to just 10000 shlokas it should have been expanded but this has not happened recently in fact from the best uh, speculation the, when vyasa delivered the uh, mahabharata to vaishampayana then after that uh, gomaharshana suta has delivered to the people all this has happened at nainital so vaishampayana and gomaharshana they are the two people who expanded the puranas and the mahabharata in size from the original delivery of vyasa himself which was also at nine sarangi i have been to those spots where vyasa delivered and romarshana delivered and vaishampayana delivered those spots are very much preserved and temples are constructed so the greatest wisdom of the human society human civilization has been expounded in the bhagavad gita and it is so great and so famous that uh, very great personalities of modern times even uh, foreign uh, intellectuals a large number of them have made a elaborate tributes they paid i'm just uh, reading out uh, one uh, quote from the greatest professor of philosophy of california no work in all indian literature is more quoted because none is better loved in the west than the bhagavad gita translation of such a work demands not only the knowledge of sanskrit but an inward sympathy with the theme and the verbal artistry for the poem it is a symphony in which god is seen in all things the swami does a real service for students by investing the beloved indian epic with fresh meaning whatever our outlook may be we should be grateful for the labor that has led to the illuminating book this is jedes mcgregor emeritus distinguished professor of philosophy university of southern california no thomas merton theologian obviously he was a christian theologian he says the gita can be seen as the main literary support for the great religious civilization of india the oldest surviving culture in the world india is the oldest surviving continuing culture of hindu culture or sanatan dharma in the world because all the ancient civilizations of the world like the egyptian the greek or roman and uh, also the mesopotamian or the babylonian uh, and and the chinese they have lost their original identity completely today if you see you will find something totally different in egypt totally different in china totally different in mesopotamia and totally different in greece 
So whereas in India, for more than one lakh years, from the Vedic Saraswati River onwards till today, the continuity of civilization exists. And that is the Sanatan Dharma or the Hindu culture. And no other culture, no other civilization in the world has survived without loss of its identity and essential intrinsic nature as the Sanatan Dharma has done. Now I'll quote one more uh, professor. These are the uh, last time I quoted the various management uh, professors' uh, uh, perception of Bhagavad Gita, how it is management oriented. The Bhagavad Gita, one of the great spiritual texts, is not yet a common part of our cultural milieu. This is probably less because it is alien per se than because we have lacked just the kind of close interpretive commentaries. These are poets and management professors. The increasing number of Western readers interested in classical Vedic thought. And the ISKCON organization has done a lot. A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada has done a lot in making the Bhagavad Gita reach every house in the Western world in America. Americans all have access to Bhagavad Gita because of ISKCON primarily. And before that, of course, Swami Vivekananda went and. Uh, now I will quote a few important uh, principles uh, which are of management uh, domain, which are brought out from the Bhagavad Gita. Though we, we have basically two different perspectives. One is the traditional perspective, Sanskrit based, about which we have been hearing a lot of lectures by a lot of people about Bhagavad Gita from the traditional Sanskrit perspective. And the other perspective is the modern management perspective. So today's my lecture is more towards management perspective. So I will focus on the management perspective now, having already discussed about the traditional perspective and its transition into the management possibilities. The Bhagavad Gita, written thousands of years ago, enlightens us on all managerial techniques. Please note, it, it is a new perspective of management. It is purely a managerial technique perspective. So, it enlightens us on the managerial techniques, leading towards harmonious and blissful state of affairs in place of conflict, tensions, poor productivity, absence of motivation, and so on. So in the organizations, the people who are involved in the organization, like uh, officials and the scientists or whatever technical or non-technical staff, they have many problems and issues. They have things like uh, conflicts between among themselves, either uh, groupism or tribalism or casteism or regionalism or nationalism, racism, depending on the location. In uh, America, racism is a very important issue. In India, North-South divide in Delhi, or caste divide, or language divide, or state-wise divide. I've spent about 28 years in the government of India. I know too well what kind of conflicts exist. The whole thing is full of conflicts. And during the conflicts, there is a lot of politics played, a lot of war situation going on, either Controversially or introversially, I mean explicitly or implicitly, based on caste, based on region, based on language, based on uh, you know uh, state, origin of state. So this I have seen this happening in my organization also, and I found that uh, the best way to overcome this kind of unproductivity situation is to conduct Bhagavad Gita classes. So I conducted in my own office every week one Bhagavad Gita session. I give a copy to every officer and one hour every week once. And they told me that if they hear to my lecture on Bhagavad Gita for one hour, their mind is very peaceful and happy for the next one week. So there over a period of two and a half years, I could reach a transformation of a great nature and parallelly I could get greater productivity of work by exerting a lot of work pressure. So the energy which was being wasted in conflicts, politics, gossiping, and various other negative and nefarious activities was diverted towards work productivity. And you could achieve big results in big projects. 
So this is my own practical experience in the organizational setup. The modern Western management concepts of vision, because every organization, if you see, as per the quality principles, they have to put a vision document, vision statement, mission statement, and value definition. Every organization has to do this, and they are doing it. So the Western management concept of vision, leadership, because it all depends on the leadership. If there is a bottleneck, it is always at the top of the bottle. So then everything will be affected, stuck. So motivation, excellence in work, achieving goals, giving work meaning, decision making, planning are all discussed in the Bhagavad Gita. Can you believe this? We have been hearing Bhagavad Gita for the last, you know, 50, 60 years, all my life from various speakers of Ramakrishna Mart or Simha Mission, etc., etc. But here is the perspective which I am going to present to you today of a management perspective from an organizational behavior, organizational development perspective. For a leader who is leading the organization, how Bhagavad Gita can transform. Because normally they send uh, their officers to IIMs for training. But after attending some of my lectures, they told me there is no need to send anybody to IIMs for training. The one major difference, while Western management taught too often, too often deals with problems at material, external, and peripheral levels, the Bhagavad Gita tackles the issues from grassroots level of human beings. So, in fact, the depth to which Bhagavad Gita goes in analyzing and understanding the issues and problems is right up to the grassroots level, the bottommost level. Whereas, in the case of Western normal management, modern management text, or the courses, the superficial level. They don't go deep into understanding the human nature, nature of mind, nature of emotions, nature of conflict, nature of perception. They don't go deep into all that. They make only superficial statements without understanding the matters in depth. Once the basic thinking of a man is improved, so just like you know, allopathy medicine, simply treats the symptoms. It doesn't go into the root cause. Whereas Ayurveda or yoga will go into the root cause and transform and uh, tackle the root cause. In the same way, the psychology, the management, Bhagavad Gita goes to the root cause of basic human perception of the individual and then transforms the individual at the bottom. That's what I have experienced as the head of my organization. I have actually transformed 200 people's thinking and behavior they have changed their behavior over a period of two and a half years. Their perceptions have been changed. Personalities can be changed. That much deep, no management principle, no management training, no management institute or course can go. The management philosophy emanating from the West is based on the lure of materialism and on a perennial thrust for profit, irrespective of the quality of the means adopted to achieve that goal. So, as Gandhiji said, the ends cannot justify the means. In the management Western perspective, profit maximization was the good old management objective. Of course, later they changed into various other uh, hierarchy of Maslow like recognition, uh, social acceptance, social promotion, and self respect, and finally, self actualization. Self actualization is the highest motivation level compared to, say, basic needs and uh, social uh, acceptance, social recognition, and uh, finally self-actualization. So, what is considered as the highest pillar in uh, Maslow need hierarchy was already emphasized in depth and much more in the Bhagavad Gita itself. What is self-actualization? How a Sthita Pranya will be there? How a Gunatita will be there? How a Bhakta will be there? How a Yogi will be there? Those characteristics and qualities of his behavior that described in Bhagavad Gita 5,000 years ago, before the Maslow need hierarchy was ever thought of. Gita does not prohibit seeking money or power or comfort or health, but it advocates active pursuit of one's goal without getting attached to the process and the results. Now, unfortunately, India has been in the forefront of importing the Western management ideas at the cost of its own identity and culture, and in trying to implement Telugu uh, Swami, Pulindu Sunakavadu Vetkin, 
So India has its own culture, its own philosophy, its own ethos, which has been dumped aside and blindly copying and aping and uh, you know, repeating what the Westerners have said in every damn thing, including their dress, the way they put their hair, or the way they eat food, the way you dress, you know, expose your body, uh, the way they don't have any values or, you know, uh, sexual chastity or principles or moral principles. All these things are being imported in India today. It is so shameful. I'm, I'm, I'm distressed to see the kind of dresses people are wearing, even the females and girls, and without any sense of shame or without any sense of exposure. And I'm distressed to see blind copying of uh, Western food habits, which are no relevance in India, because the weather conditions are quite different. Because weather conditions there are very cold, so they want warm and hot and everything. Whereas in India, it's the opposite. Weather conditions are hot. We want cool and calm. Cold, in fact, we want. Amma kadupu challaga, atta kadupu challaga. So challaga unda babu challaga unda anta manudu. What do they want? Warmth, warm greetings, sunny day, that kind of a thing. So totally different, opposite situation of the weather conditions and food habits. For them eating food, you know, beef or eating uh, all kinds of meats, all animals, except human meat they consume. I was really shocked when I landed in the USA in the 80s, how nobody was vegetarian there. And I was the only vegetarian in that area, and very few Indians were vegetarians. Even all Indians also were non-vegetarians. Non-vegetarian in India is almost like a vegetarian in America, because in America or in other countries, beef is a staple food, which is banned in some of the states in India, and it is most harmful. Consuming beef will lead to so many new diseases and not to speak of all other types of animals' meats. So the food habits themselves, so for example, in Germany, when I went, they cannot grow any vegetables or crops in Germany because the soil got completely polluted. So they import from neighboring countries like Romania. So that is the situation because if you grow vegetarian food, it will take only one-tenth or even less expense than consuming non-vegetarian food. Those who are uh, killing an animal to consume, that animal has already grazed in the grass and fodder and all that, say, 100 times more than what a human would consume. At the same pace by cultivation of, uh, you know, vegetables or uh, leafy vegetables or uh, cereal within the same area. So it is very inefficient in this ecological sense to be a non-vegetarian because you are consuming too much times more the uh, space of cultivation and greenery. That is the same thing the man will also eat. But when the man eats animal, whatever animal is eaten for so many days or weeks or years, that is eating. That means 100 times, 200 times he is consuming. So these kind of westernization habits blindly have only resulted in deterioration of the economic conditions in India. So the result of Indian aping blindly of the Western civilization in terms of management principles, economics, way of life, dress for food habits, drinking, for example, drinking. I am distressed to see that everyone drinks today in India. It was not the case in my childhood, in my younger days. Very few people used to drink and they were looked down upon. Whereas in other countries, everybody was drinking. So in India today, everybody drinks as if it is a great thing, because they want to copy the Westerners. And they don't realize that alcohol is plain poison. It destroys liver, it destroys heart, it destroys nervous system. You will get Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, you get liver cirrhosis, you get heart disease, heart attack. Everything is caused by alcohol. Without realizing that, simply blindly copying the Westerners, go on drinking day in and day out. Even females have started drinking off late, a few years back, females are not drinking. But now, all females drink. And even children are given drink alcohol drinks. Shamelessly. We should be ashamed of this kind of blind aping. The result is that while huge funds are being invested in building temples of modern management education, no perceptible change are visible in improvement of general quality of life. So many management institutions have been built. So many courses are delivered. But what is the effect? There is no point. 
there is no effect. Although the standards of living of a few has gone up. Standard of living has gone up due to the other reasons, not due to the Western management techniques. The same old struggles in almost all sectors of economy, criminalization of institutions. You know very well all institutions have become corrupted. The bureaucracy, the political system, election system, everything is corrupt. Nothing is genuine and honest. So we live in a, a maya, a quagmire, a whirlpool of corrupted, illusory and imaginary kind of uh, hoax kind of system. Like COVID is an example of that and more than that the elections. So the elections are fought and then a lot of money is distributed and votes are put in a very you know, corrupt way and people elected are corrupt and the entire system is corrupt. So this is a fake kind of a democracy and election system. All this has come out because the basic core values which are mentioned in texts like Bhagavad Gita have been dumped. By the way, the Bhagavad Gita itself has explained these things. In the 16th chapter, in the Asuri Purvati, Lord Krishna explains what exactly is happening today in the society in India. By illegals, black money accumulation, people are Asha Pasha Satair Badha, Kama Krodha Parayana, Ihante Kama Bhogardham, Anyayena Ardha Sanjayan. So he has explained the Asuri Pravritti, which you can see very crystal clearly today happening in the society. And what will be the effect of Asuri Pravritti is only destruction and damage. I am not uh, reading any reference book. I am quoting certain points. There is no book for this with me. I have noted certain points which I have extracted from various papers. So the reason of this sorry state of affairs is not difficult to understand. The Western idea of management centers on making the worker and manager more efficient and more productive. Companies offer workers more to work more, produce more, sell more, and to stick to the organization without looking for alternatives. The sole aim of extracting better and more work from the worker is to improve the bottom line of the enterprise. The worker has become a hireable commodity which can be used, replaced or discarded at will. This is the modern business management methodology. So thus workers have been reduced to the state of mercantile product. In such a state, it should come no surprise to us that the workers start using strikes or sit-ins or go slows, work to rule, etc., to get maximum benefit of themselves for the organization. Society at large is damaged. Thus, we reach a situation in which management and workers become separate entities, fight in conflict quite often. So, this whole approach based on profit maximization by the management, by exploiting the workers, is the root cause of the failure of Western management techniques. Now let us examine some of the modern management concepts in the light of Bhagavad Gita, in which it is a primary of management by values. So Bhagavad Gita on the other side is emphasizing on values. If you look at the 16th chapter once again, the list of values, Daivi Sampat has been listed. So the Daivi Sampat is actually the value system, about 26 values have been mentioned. Abhayam, Sattva Samshuddhi, Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti, Dhanam, Damascha, Yajnascha, Swadhyaya, Tapa, Arjavam. Arjavam is honesty, integrity. In government uh, uh, you know, system, where I have spent about 30 years, they have one uh, confidential report, the annual confidential report to be built up by the people, by the officers for their subordinates. So there is a column there, integrity, that is Arjavam. You have to write beyond doubt. If you have any doubt about the integrity of the person in case, if you write that doubtful, that means that person will never get promoted. He may finally have to leave the government service. So integrity is of core importance in the government service. And I'm sure even in private companies, integrity, if it is compromised, if somebody is cheating the organization, he will be suspended immediately. So, Ahimsa, Satyam, Akrodha, Tyagaha, Kshanti, Rapaishanam, Daya, Bhutesh, Alorutvam, Mardavam, Hri, Rachaparam, Tejakshama, Dhutishaucham, Adroho, Nabhimanita. 
is 26, they are called the Daivi Sampat or Daivi values, which are the values which have to be inculcated for better performance and better living style and better life, not only in the organizations, but also in any other situation, even in educational institutions or at home. Because if you, if you find that your uh, family members don't have any values, your wife or your son or daughter-in-law or daughter or anyone, if they are going to cheat you or they are going to mislead you, tell lies, because Satyam is the fundamental value. Because Manu has identified 10 Dharma Lakshanas. Dhritik Shama Dhamma Shaucham Asteyo Indrayana Griha Dheer Vidya Satyam Akrodho Dashakam Dharma Lakshana. So these 10 values which Manu identified and Patanjali identified 10. Satya Ahimsa Brahmacharya Asteyo Avari Griha Shaucha Santosha Tapas Swadha Isra Sari. So these 10 plus 10, 20 are already included in the Bhagavad Gita because Bhagavad Gita is a supreme text. It goes many steps above other texts. Deko Shastra Deva Ki Putra Gita. So it has given 26 values, including some of the advanced values like Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti, being enlightened, being like Rama, being like Krishna, being like Buddha. How they have performed in their own life, in their own profession or in their own duties, in spite of being liberated, in spite of being avatar purushas, in spite of being jnanis and yogis, how they have behaved like ordinary human beings. Why Rama is being uh, uh, worshipped? Because we recognize Rama as the personification of dharma. Rama Vigrahavan Dharma. So he is the role model for any human being. How to behave with father, how to behave with mother, how to behave with brothers, how to behave with wife, how to be obedient to father, how to uphold dharma at any cost. He suffered all his life but he has upheld the dharma. That's why Rama is worshipped today after thousands and thousands of years. And now Krishna is the highest uh, Lila Avatara. One is Maya Manusha Vigraha and other is Lila Manusha Vigraha. So he showed his uh, Vishwarupa so many times. And in spite of that, he behaved like a common man and he suffered so much. He had to you know, escape and uh, hide and all that. And he never became a king, though he was a king maker. So, and finally he conducted the world war without having any stakes in it. So, what I am saying is that upholding dharma is the highest goal because that's what I read out the objective of Bhagavad Gita in the beginning itself. Dharma Dvivedha Pravritti Lakshano Dharma Nivritti Lakshano Dharma and Narayana has delivered dharma in the entire 18 chapters. What he has delivered is dharma. Dharma Yoga he has delivered. And Yada Yada Hai Dharmasya Glani Bhavati Bharata Abhyudhana Dharmasya Tada Atmanam Sujamiham Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinashaya Chadrishtutam Dharma Samsthapana Ardhaya Sambhavam Yuge Yuge He has given that assurance that he will come whenever Adharma you know becomes uh, victorious and Dharma goes down he will reverse the situation he will up uphold Dharma and destroy Adharma Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dushtutam dharma samsthavana ardhaya sambhavami yuge yuge. He has made that promise. Of course, we cannot keep on waiting for uh, one next avatar to come because we, we will not be alive at that time. Today, right now, we are alive. It is our bound duty to implement the value system given in the Bhagavad Gita. So that's why those who understand Gita Ardham Jata Nicham. Krutva karmani bhurishaha jivan mukta savijnyayo dehante paramam padam. You cannot stop doing your activities, doing all activities in a perfect manner. That is karma yoga, yoga karma sukaushalam. And while doing all activities perfectly, because you understood the Gita Ardham Jayate Nityam, Krutva karmani bhurishaha jivan mukta savijnyayo dehante paramam padam. So you will be jivan mukta. If you understood the Bhagavad Gita values and implement in your activities, it is impossible to stop any activity. Everybody is involved in so many activities. But the value system given, the methodology given, the processes and procedures given in the Bhagavad Gita, if they are understood first, Gita Ardham, Jayate, Nityam, 
every day continuously you contemplate on the principles allowed elucidated illustrated and upheld in the bhagavad gita and implement them in your own life because everybody's life is different from everybody else's life only then it is possible for you to get liberated jivan mukti and then of course at the end of uh, uh, life after death you will reach parama padam now coming to the very important principles of modern management of value system value based management the need of karma yoga i'll now uh, explain a little bit about karma yoga it all starts in second chapter so in the second chapter having explained to arjuna the nature of the soul the nature of self as indestructible it will not die even if you kill the body dies vasam sindhinani yatha vihaya navani gunha tatha tatha sharirani vihaya jirna nyanyani samyati navani dehi nayanam timnam sastrani nayanam dahati pavaka nashayanam kleyam chavo na to sadhu marga achedyo yavada ashyo yamakvedyo asorcheva cha nitya sarvagata sthana achalo yam sanatana having explained all that he says esha sankhya this is till now i have explained you sankhya thought now i will explain you yoga yogesh vamam sri and this samatvam yoga uchyate he has given three four definitions of yoga in the second chapter itself samatvam yoga uchyate and yoga karma su kaushala karma jam buddhi uttai harat chatva manishinah janma bandha vinirmukta padam gachanti anamaya manishinah the 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 great uh, souls the great, not ordinary manishi gadu manishi that means an extraordinary personality so all the manishis they because they have buddhi that means they have enlightenment they will karma jam buddhi ta phalam chatva they, they are not attached to the result of their actions like krishna was not attached to the results of mahabharata war because he was not a stakeholder he was neither going to gain or lose anything but he executed the mahabharata war for the sake of upholding dharma as a avatara of course we are we may not be avataras but we also have to uphold dharma if you don't uphold dharma then you will be destroyed because dharma rakshati rakshitah if you uphold dharma then you will be protected by dharma if you destroy dharma then you will also be destroyed today what is happening in society is dharma being destroyed nobody knows what is dharma in the first place they do whatever they like animal or worse than animal kind of behavior they show uh, drugs and guns and uh, alcohol and uh, you know no principles of any kind uh, cheating lies uh, fraud corruption scams scandals even this covid is on a big scam so everything is a fake a maya created for, for some kind of delusory uh, benefits so nobody understands what is dharma and nobody wants to implement dharma so it is high time that we understand what is dharma and what are the values of dharma as given in the bhagavad gita so in karma yoga what he says is in order to uphold dharma you just do your duty perfectly yoga karma su kaushalam with perfect skill and that skill is not to be obsessed and attached to the result a lot of people will have this doubt how can i not uh, have any interest in the result of the action which i am performing for so i'll explain two three important principles in this suppose there is a boy who is studying for iit and he is studying every day 18 to 20 hours and finally didn't get iit because there were only very few seats whereas the people who are writing the iit exam are in lakhs 5 10 10 lakhs people are writing the iit entrance exam whereas the number of seats available is only maybe 5000 or 10000 now the previous it was only 1500 so now what will happen to all others so they will all commit suicide because if the boy is obsessed with the result that you know i should get iit i should get iit otherwise my life is a waste this kind of so crazy driving so there are uh, students who committed suicide after uh, getting results that they didn't get selected in iit and those who got selected after going to iit they become drug addicts every iitian was a drug addict i went to iit for mtech only luckily not for btech and i saw that every btech person in iit bombay was taking drugs even one was exempt but i was one of the very few people in the whole of iit who was a vegetarian teetotaler and also no drugs 
all others were indulging in all these activities. There is no moral fabric in the IITs. And some people commit suicide also, as if it is some kind of a hobby. So why it is happening like Because the whole system is totally rotten. The children, the youth are driven to the wall. They are being, uh, you know, what do you call, uh, uh, put a gun behind them and they will be driving that mad. And then, uh, so this, this is all because they don't have the correct attitude. So if the boy knows in the beginning that uh, getting into IIT is not an easy thing, but I will make my efforts. If I get it, get fine. But even if I don't get, nothing will happen because whatever knowledge I have acquired, whatever skills I have acquired in the preparation of IIT, they will be useful to me in a non-IIT institution, maybe IIIT or maybe NIT or maybe JNT or wherever or maybe abroad. So that knowledge and that training which I have gone through in the IIT coaching will be useful to me throughout my life in whatever institution I study, whatever course I study. If this much of wisdom is prevalent in the young kids, they will not commit suicides and become drug addicts and become criminals and so on. So th this is what is happening. You see, the, the commercial enterprise of coaching of IIT students, the people like, uh, you know, those organizations which are trained like Narayana, Sujan, and so many, they become very rich because they drive people mad. They drive the parents mad and the teachers mad. And many of them commit suicide. Even the Sri Chaitanya, Narayana, people have committed suicides. That is such a terrible hell they are creating. This is just one example of not having karma yoga. What will happen? Don't do karma yoga. And similarly, now Lord Krishna has given in the second chapter and he expanded in the third chapter in a big way. Karma yoga, whole chapter he has dedicated to karma yoga. Karma jam buddhi yukta hi phalam tektva mani shidha jalma bandha vinir mukta padangat sat janavane. Now he goes into the jnana moksha shri yadate mohakalilam buddhi yatitarishri tada ganta si nirvedam rotavyasya srutasya suti vipradipannate yadas hasyat nishchala samadho achala buddhi tada yogam avapsyasi. So finally he gave the enlightened state description. After having got confused with all kinds of spiritual philosophical lectures, theses, books, theories, etc., 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 Sruti Vipprati Pannate Yadas Asyati Nishchala When you reach Samadhi state, Samadho Achala Buddhi Tada Yoga Mahapsesi That you will reach the yoga state. And then, of course, Arjuna asks, Sthita Prajnasya Kabhasha Samadhi Stasya Kesava Sthita Dheer Kim Prabhasya Yada Kim Asita Vrajeta Kim Prajaha Deda Kaman Sarvan Pardha Manogata Atman Yeva Atman Atushkaha Sthita Prajnasya Kabhasya Dukkeshu Anujvignamanaha, Sukkeshu Vigatasprunaha, Vita Raga Bhayak Krodha, Sita Dheer Munirushyate. Yes, Sarvatra Nahisneha, Tattat Prapti Subhasuva, Nadinanda Dinadveshi, Tasya Prajna Pratishtha. Now, it appears crazy. How can there be a person who will not react to adversity or prosperity, who will not react to good or bad, who will not react to pain or pleasure, who will not react to cold or heat, it is impossible, you may think. But what it means is something different. A lot of people, you know, also get confused when there is a statement in the second chapter. When the, this Muni or Sthita Prajna will see day as night and night as day. That means people think that he will sleep whole day and wake up whole night. It's not like that. So he will get as darkness or night, what others look at as dead, very running after money, running after uh, power, running after doing all illegal things, you know, uh, beating people, killing people, and doing fake elections, fake management, fake certificate, fake PhD, everything fake. That kind of a thing which normally people do as if it is daylight, clear cut, daylight robbery kind of thing. That the Muni looks at as dark night. It is prohibited. And what others find it difficult and don't want to do, like following strictly the principles of Satya, Himsa, all these principles of Devi Sampatta, Niyama Niyamas, and Dharma Lakshanas. People don't want to do all that because it's dark. It is difficult for them, like night. 
So that Muni will be very comfortable like they he will be following moral, ethical behavior. So the ethical behavior is what being explained here. And now coming to the equanimity of being uh, you know, equal to success and failure, dualities, or equal to you know, uh, insults and praise, it, it uh, depicts of a highly mature personality. Uh, the best way to understand this is you look at uh, a mature person, uh, say uh, 40, 50 years, and we saw with some small children. And the small children are playing cricket and they get very obsessed with the runs made in the cricket and they will just weep and they will clap and they will enjoy and they will jump and all that. But supposing this man, the adult is playing with the children, he will not jump, he will not weep, he will not laugh and all this because for him it is just a silly thing. So that is the maturity level we are talking about. So a Sita Pranya who is in a highly mature spiritually developed state, spiritually, spiritual quotient is very high, emotional quotient is very high. Of course, intelligent quotient is also already high. So those who have high intelligent quotient but don't have spiritual quotient and uh, emotional quotient, they collapse in life. So they will feel terrible, terrified. I have seen uh, very, very extreme adverse situations. In my own life, I have faced two times extreme adverse situations. Extreme. I don't want to give my personal life details, but I have seen, I have faced extreme adverse situations. And the only way I could withstand is because of Bhagavad Gita. I am very frank about it. In my childhood and even in my later days, extreme adversity situations against you, but the only way you can withstand is through the Bhagavad Gita instructions. Like a Sita Pranya, you have to stand like a rock. Like Himalayas, you have to stand to whatever happens. If you stand like that, then you will win. You are definitely going to win. If you collapse or if you jump about or if you uh, run around and shout around, you will be nowhere. You will be finished. So I know you, some of you also have faced this kind of situation. I am not the only person. I am sure some of you know, particularly uh, those who are in the military, they know very well what I am talking about. How to face extreme adverse situations in spite of, you know, being uh, helpless, you have to withstand and fight. And those who fight will win. Those who escape, collapse, they will die. That's all. So whatever happens, if you can withstand, that is the Sita Prajna Lakshana. That is the meaning behind these statements of Sita Prajna of being uh, capable of handling dualities. Dukkheshu Anudvigramana, Dukkheshu Vigatasprara, Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha, Sita Dheer Muni Nuchyate. We know the story of Vishwamitra, how he could finally, you know, give in to Menaka. Or we have seen other stories, but we have seen the story of Harish Chandra, who has never given up. He has never given up his uh, commitment to Satya, whatever may happen. Extreme things have happened in his life, but he has not given up his commitment to Satya. In my own case also, I find, I found many situations. I'll give you one simple example, very interesting. When I was writing the SSC public examination, I was in Sikindrabad, Maroof College High School, and uh, people were copying. Everybody was copying. So I was not bothered about uh, all, all in country, but I was bothered about my competitors. I was the class topper. I had second rank, third rank, fourth rank. My close friends who are very intelligent uh, people who were, they were also copying. Then I thought, see, even if intelligent people uh, who are strong academically copy, then they will get more marks than me. I thought like that. But I, I didn't give up my principle of copying because there were situations when when I'm writing the exam paper, my answer paper is taken away by the one of these fellows and circulated everywhere to copy and come back after half an hour. Till then, I have to wait. This kind of situation is also I have faced. So I thought I will be losing my rank. But lo and behold, to my shock and surprise, when the results came, public examination, first public examination of SSC 1969, I was first rank not only in my school, but in the entire city. I was shocked. I was wondering how come then I realized somebody told me, one of the teachers told me later that by looking at the answers, you can make out whether it's copied or original. So, because mine is original, I got four marks. 
And those, though they have copied, uh, which I thought they'll get more marks, but they were not given marks because it was clear that they copied. So that way, the, uh, the honesty is the best policy and commitment to Satya, like Harish Chandra's case, you take, uh, or you take uh, any other case of uh, you know great personalities, they have withstood at any cost, they fought and run over the situation. Finally, they won. In my life also, I have two, three times this kind of situations I have faced, very difficult situations. But finally, I, because I stuck to my principles at any cost, I finally won. Because that's what my gurus and teachers have told. You stick to your principles, your sincerity, honesty, your truth, all this, they will only help you. Dharma, Rakshati, Rakshitaha. So the same thing, this Sritha Pranja Lakshana is being taught. And then in the second chapter, as he goes forward, he explains the emotional processes of breakdown. Jayate, Vishayan, Pumsaha, Sangante, Shubha Jayate, Sangat, Sanjayate, Kama, Kama, Krodho, Vijayate, Krodha, Bhavati, Sammoha, Sammoha, Smriti, Brahma, Smriti, Brahma, Buddhinasha, Buddhinasha, Pranashyati. The entire sequence from Kama to Vinasha. Jayate, Vishayan, Pumsaha. No, I'll first have some idea. I want to have this. I keep on thinking about that particular object. It can be anything. It can be going to America or buying a car or buying a house or buying something or whatever it is. So it will start working in my subconscious mind and I'll put all my efforts for achieving that. And Sangat Jayate, Sangat Sanjayate Kamaha. Kama starts coming up. Kama Krodho Vijayate. Because Kama may not be always fulfilled. So when it's not fulfilled as you expect, then you'll get anger. Krodha Bhavati Sammoha. You will be hypnotized. Samoha, Smriti with Brahma. You will be so much hypnotized that you will forget what all happened in the past. Smriti Brahmshad, Buddhi Nashaha. Your discriminatory power, your decision making power, your intellectual power all gets decimated. Buddhi Nashad, Pranashati. Then you may beat somebody, that person may beat you, or you may kill, or you may kill, get killed. Anything can happen. So, this whole sequence of falling down, like Ganga Pravaham from the top of Himalayas to the bottom, you keep on falling. So from the high level, you fall, 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 fall. Finally, you are nowhere. You are decimated. Vinashyati. So this entire falling sequence, this is exactly what is happening in every war, in every conflict, every fight in this world. People cannot understand this. The Gita clearly explains what all happens. Ragadvesha vipraistu vishayan indriyas charan atmavasya vidhyayatma prasadam ayyuch. Now this is a very important word he used here. Vidhyatma prasada madhyachati. Prasada means not getting prasadam in temple. Prasada is manap prasada saumyatva mauna vatma nirigraha. You are all bhavasam sujit ketam manasam tapavuchate. That is happy, pleasant state of mind. Prasannatma vigatabhi jan. So that prasanna state, who will get? Vidhyatma prasada madhyachati. Only a person who is vidhyatma has conquered himself completely control himself completely. He will get peace. He will get poise. He will get equanimity. Prasade sarvadukhanam halirasyo pajayate prasanna chetana hyasu buddhir yatitaisa. Only when you reach that poise state of mind, prasada, prasade sarvadukhanam, all miseries, all problems will be overcome. Because all problems are either created by you or others like you by following all adharma behavior. So if you if you are sticking to the dharma behavior and act like Sita Pranya, then nobody can touch you. So Vidayatma Prasadhani Khachati Prasade Sarvadukhanam Hani Rasyo Bajayate Prasanna Chet Sakyasu Buddhir Vyadita Rishati Nasti Buddhi Rayukta Senata Yuktasya Bhavana Nacha Bhava Yatashanti Asham Tasya Kutas Sukha. If you don't have peace, what is the point? What is the happiness in life? That's what is happening today. You see so many people, they may have a lot of money, they may have a lot of property, they may have a lot of power, they may have a lot of designation. They may have a lot of people behind them, they may have a lot of things, but they don't have peace of mind. <laughs> there is no happiness. Sukha shantul lev. So, nasti buddhir ayuktasya. Ayukta, that means a person is not yukta. Yukta means not practicing yoga, not controlling himself, not controlling his mind. Nasti buddhi, he has no enlightenment. Nasti buddhi rayuktasya, nacha yuktasya bhavana. There is no atma bhavana. Nacha bhava yata shanti, he cannot have peace. Ashantasya kutas sukha. Where is sukham without shanti? 
శాంతము లేక సౌఖ్యం లేదు సారసమయమ అని సాగర ద్వారా సో పీస్ కెన్ బి అచీవ్ ఓన్లీ బై విధేయాత్మ ప్రసాదం అని గచ్చతి నాస్తి బుద్ధిరా యుక్త నయుక్త భావన నాభావ యత శాంతి అశాంత కృతస్ఫుఖం ఇంద్రియార్థాన్ని అండ్ మనోన్మీయతే తదస్ హృదయ ప్రజ్ఞాం వాయుజ్ఞానం తస్మాస్ మహాబాహు నిగృహీత సర్వశ ఇంద్రియాణి ఇంద్రియార్థేభ్య తస్య ప్రజ్ఞాపస్థిత యా నిషా సర్వభూతాం తస్యాం జాగ్రత్తి సమ్యం యస్యాం జాగ్రతి భూతాన్ని సా నిషాపస్థితో గుణే ఆపూర్యమాణ వచన ప్రతిష్ఠం సముద్రమాభ ప్రవేశంతి తద్వత్ కామాయ ప్రవేశంతి సర్వే సశాంతి మాప్నోత్ న కామక దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ప్రఫౌండ్ జస్ట్ లైక్ ఎన్ ఓషన్ ఆపూర్యమాణం అచల ప్రతిష్ఠం సముద్రం ఆప ప్రవేశంతి ఆల్ ది రివర్స్ ఆర్ డంపింగ్ వాటర్ ఇన్ టు ది ఓషన్ బట్ ది ఓషన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ వెరీ ఎక్సైటెడ్ అండ్ సే ఓ ఐ ఆమ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ దట్ మీ గో ఆన్ యునో ఇట్ నాట్ ఎక్స్పాండ్ అండ్ కా యునో సబ్మర్జ్ all the surrounding lands it doesn't do that it will take 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 so in the same way a personality who can take whatever comes to him or her without much of disturbance or perturbance or you know any kind of uh, adverse or uh, extreme reaction apurya mana vachala pratishtham samudra mapa pravishanti atvat tadvat kama yam pravishanti sarve all desires go into him without any disturbance to him సశాంతి మాప్నోతి న కామ కామి ఓన్లీ హీ విల్ అచీవ్ పీస్ న కామ కామి ఎ పర్సన్ హూ గోస్ ఆన్ డిజైరింగ్ అండ్ వర్కింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ ఫుల్ఫిల్లింగ్ దోస్ డిజైర్స్ విల్ నెవర్ గెట్ పీస్ న కామ కామి విహాయ కామాన్య సర్వాన్ కుమాన్ చరతి నిస్పృహ నిర్మమో నిరహంకార సశాంతి మధ్య హూ విల్ గెట్ శాంతి శాంతి ఇస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు గెట్ విహాయ కామాన్ హ్యావింగ్ గివెన్ అప్ ఆల్ డిజైర్స్ సర్వాన్ ఉమాంసాంతిమహీర్స్థితి the most profound uh mechanism of how to live life because he has explained the karma yoga there so uh karma yoga mahasuru yu buddhaito ya bhadra neha vikramana shosti pratyavayu na vidyate svalpam apyasya dharmasya prayate mahato bhaya devasaya now he has told karma yoga as performing work without obsession without attachment to the outcomes work for work say perform the work for perfection of work that's what is called love of labor like people there are some people you might have seen who work very hard in fact in rss there are thousands of pracharaks or maybe lakhs they don't get anything in return they go on doing uh, work they work in forests they work in hospitals they work in uh, famines and very few of them will become prime minister or minister or something all others are remaining nowhere nobody knows where they are they, but they are doing tremendous work so that is karma yoga you without uh, aiming at any result you do your uh, duty first and then you take up the task uh, for the sake of the welfare loka sangharthaya like i am giving a lecture now here i don't get anything in return i don't get paid i don't need anything i am satisfied i'm just delivering lecture for the sake of benefit of society so even lord krishna conducted a third world war i mean not third world war a world war at that time mahabharata war without any uh, return for himself so it is for only for society he had to uphold dharma in society so he has done that so only for the loka sangraha and also for your duty your dharma swadharme nidhanam shreya para dharma bhayava even if you die while performing your dharma it is better than trying to copy somebody else's dharma and encroach into his dharma because he will not like it and it will lead to sinful situation so while performing your dharma as karma and you perform for the benefit of uh, society because in third chapter he told yajjal acharati shreshtah tatta deva itaro jana sayat pramadam gurte lokastad anuvarta why am i doing all these things he is explaining himself namaya padhasilas 
ఫిష్ లోకేషన్ కించి నాకేం లేదు ది హోల్ వరల్డ్ ఐఎమ్ నథింగ్ టు అస్పైర్ ఫర్ ఆల్ త్రీ వర్డ్స్ నాట్ వన్ వర్డ్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ డూయింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ లోక సంగ్రహ so because others also should do like me for loka sangraha so this is karma yoga we have dwelt at length about karma yoga and the bhagavad gita has elaborated uh, in second and third chapters and in the of course uh, the the science of it i already told last time the prakriti and the devatas and uh, the yajna process yajna is karma so finally it has to be yajna and i have already explained this last time and uh, next time we will focus on the jnana jnana yoga fourth chapter and of course uh, we will come later on to the raja yoga samyam yoga and this chapter and this yoga also so i stop i stop here i welcome any interactions or questions sir thank you sir thank you dr prepu gari you have given a very beautiful Uh, thought provoking and knowledgeable lecture now namaskarams to our uh, de- uh, dear and beloved honorable sri akala prabhakar rao garu sir because you have come here please take over and agre nayate iti aham prarthayami sri akala ప్రభాకర్ రావు మహోదయం అగ్రే నయతు ఇది ప్రార్థయామి సరే నమస్కార ధన్యవాద ధన్యవాద ప్రభు మహోదయ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ గెస్ జిపి కేరా మహోదయ అండ్ కృష్ణ మహోదయ అండ్ అదర్ డాక్టర్ మూర్తి మహోదయ గోపాల కృష్ణ గౌతమ్ తిరుమలయ్య గారు ఎక్సెట్రా ఎక్సెట్రా ఎవరిబడి పంకజ్ సర్వభ్య నమస్కార స్వాగతం నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ హెడ్ అన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ లెక్చర్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్లీ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద లెక్చర్ వీ హెడ్ వీ హెడ్ సమ్ మోర్ పార్ట్స్ విల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ అండ్ హీ హెస్ గివెన్ బ్రీఫ్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ ఆన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ అండ్ భగవద్గీత and there are many more principles are there which handle the things in uh, human society which are required for us all management principles such as uh, time management change management and uh, various topics we hear in by ims and others all these topics can be attributed to bhagavad gita each one each topic that management modern management is they say they are covered under under bhagavad gita in my opinion so dr prabhu will take care of these things in future i expect him to give more and more lectures on this uh, this thing now i request members to raise their doubts or uh, or uh, problems they face in management uh, how to tackle them because dr prabhu is very experienced a person who have, who used bhagavad gita for uh, managing a huge government organization uh, so he is the right person to give solution to you giving the quoting the shlokas from bhagavad gita so then i request uh, if you have got any issues or any problems or any doubts on management principles or science principles that that are covered in bhagavad gita please open up request uh, people to give their uh, raise their questions their doubts or they disc- or they want to give their opinions most welcome experienced people are there who are more knowledgeable in bhagavad gita they can also they can they can share their views they check it share the they can share their thoughts on these principles the idea is to make the younger generations know what is there in our shastras and the experienced people they speak a, in a on a platform like this they speak out these recordings may help to other people who see these things to know what is there in our shastras and dwell into more into that and uh, more and more research can be done on these principles of management and science in our shastras
Murti Garu, would you like to speak? Dr. Murti? GP Karao Garu? Dr. Garg? Vivek Garg? Dr. Kalal Haraprasad, Hariprasad? Dr. Babu? We are all experienced people in management. Please speak out. You must have faced a number of problems in your life. Namaskar. In management. Yeah. Namaskar. 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 Uh, Namaskar. Miru. Chepatina e Bhavad Gita program on the today's management skills to management dharma, adharma. Even Dr. CSR Prabhu Garu, Varyoka Jivit Charitra Law, Ekarik Villam, Ella, Degazar Poem and Chapton Law, Val Sadukuna, Rosal Ne, Anta Colleges, Drug Addiction, Any Only and Day, Anta Adharmo, Prevail of Tunde and Azani, Oka Bakit of Kate Mala Trigi, Maniki Manchi Margani, Ogalgedi. Is only one Baud Gita is Saram Sumap. Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, Itihasas, all this, they brought it as a spoon feed. I really appreciate and uh, see that the today's children, school children to college and universities, uh, what is the Bhagavad Gita is always uh, kept away from our uh, place. That is uh, uh, how he talked about Kama, Krodha, Moha, Loba, Madha, Matsarya. Raga Dvesha Rui Vani Koda, how is affecting the uh, desires, the complete, the only desires and desires, uh, the prevailing uh, in uh, almost he, he says that except him uh, in the college, almost all are uh, drug addicted or alcohol addicted and uh, this type of thing, if it is, uh, 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 what about the present situation? So, uh, very few people are there, very, very few people are there, but their job is to come out and uh, bring uh, seriousness, the the truth, the real truth, Satyam Sivam Sundaram, that the truth has to be brought back, our value system. Uh, I really appreciate Dr. C.S.R. Prabhu as uh, given the... Uh, the solutions also. It's not that, you know, just uh, speaking about the problems, uh, then the type of aha, uh, what type of sattvic aha. If the sattvic aha, you get the sattvic uh, thinking, that is the bhavana. Uh, whereas if you take rajasic food, tamasic food, you get that rajasic, tamasic thoughts. Uh, one cannot. Today is almost all uh, either rajasic or tamasic. There's a uh, very exceptional cases, uh, Satvic people are in this uh, present situation you come across. Uh, I really appreciate today's uh, program. Uh, whatever is uh, Karma Yoga he has given, now is coming to Gnana Yoga. That is the Gnana Yoga is the much more, much more, uh, which it influences the people that without Gnanam, that is, uh, people say, Mahananta Gnana Sagar. Bhagwan means is uh, knowledge the true knowledge that is uh, what we are going to hear in next course from him i'm really glad glad that this platform certainly can bring change in the people mind that how to come out of this rajasik tamasik to sattvic is uh, prabhu garu uh, I, I again once again now rudipur kandanamulu elan programs Continue ga me ruti scoto ma ko chala chala anandanga me ru ento manchu manchu matlo elanti osne ante nichidanu sachidanu the kawalante shanti kawalante manu elamu lali ane dantlo the baudhi chepe i pravachnalu is giving more effective so once again my pranamalu elanti program pravakaragaru. Salak Shigaru, Miru, Inta, Adbutanga, Prajal Lokti Srato, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Well said, GP Karavagaru, I really appreciate your comments. Akaramuji, for the problem, Mevoton Nante, youngsters key, schools law, Kadesh law, Nachina Padakiri, Kipadwar, Pudinka, Banker and Persitlo, Walaki, correct orientation, aptitude.
attitude thinking was live so vere countries lo vere countries lo etla go undale ho nenu america vadilipet india ki vachesa maa pillalu ki america lo unte vaallu sarpothar ani uddeshan tho i came back to india india lo kuda chaala bhayankaramaina paristhithulu ee maa intlo ne mana cultivate chesukovali gaani bayatu vadileste matuku pakkam chedipothar anamata aadu సో మన పిల్లల్ని మన ఇంట్లో మనం గ్రూమ్ చేసుకోవాలంటే వాళ్ళకి చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి కరెక్ట్ వ్యాధి సిస్టము యోగాభ్యాసం చేయటము అట్లాగే ఇప్పుడు సాత్విక ఆహారము అమృత ఆహారము లేదా ఇలా ప్రాణాయామము భగవద్గీత ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఊరికి ఏమవుతుందంటే మన పిల్లలకి ఇక్కడ మామూలుగా చిన్నప్పుడు కాంపిటీషన్స్ నాకు కూడా కంటస్థం చేయించేస్తారు ఓకే మంచిదే కంటస్థం చేయించారు కాబట్టి నేను వాళ్ళు చెప్తున్నాను కానీ కంటస్థం చేసి సరిపోదు అది అర్థం కూడా కొద్దిగా బేసిక్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ అని చెప్పాలి వాళ్ళకి మొత్తం అర్థం కాదు మొత్తం అర్థం అయ్యే ప్రసక్తి లేదు కానీ బేసిక్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఏది మంచి ఏది చెడు అని చెప్పగలకపోతే వాళ్ళు చెడునే మంచి అనుకుంటే చెడే కరెక్ట్ అనుకుని వాళ్ళు చెడవాడు అయిపోతారు అది వచ్చిన ప్రాబ్లం అది ఫుడ్ హ్యాబిట్స్ కావచ్చు ఆల్కహాల్ కావచ్చు డ్రింక్స్ కావచ్చు మీరు కాలేజీ స్టూడెంట్ లో మన కాలేజ్ లో కానీ వేరే ఐఐటీస్ లో అని చెప్తున్నారు ఐఐటి అంటే ఐఎస్ట్ కింద లెక్క ఐఐటీస్ లో ప్రతి వాడు డ్రంక్ అడు డ్రగ్ అడిక్ట్ సో వాల్యూ సిస్టమ్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చారు అంత మెరిట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ద గ్రేట్ యునో ద ఎఫర్ట్స్ పెట్టి తల్లిదండ్రులకి ఏదో ఒక ఆశ చూపించి ఇంత ఖర్చు పెట్టి ఇంత సమయం దాన్ని చదువు కింద అంత కృషి చేసి చివరికి అక్కడ అలా అయిపోతున్నారంటే నిజంగా ఎంతో దురదృష్టం అది ఒకటే కాదు నోట్స్ చెప్పలేనటువంటి విషయాలు కూడా ఉన్నాయి ఈ హాస్టల్స్ లో ఐఐటీస్ లో హాస్టల్స్ లో జరిగేది డ్రగ్స్ అవన్నీ కాక సెక్షువల్ రిలేషన్ ప్రామిస్క్యూటీ కూడా చాలా భయంకరంగా ఉందనమాట అంటే ఆడవాళ్ళు మగవాళ్ళు ఎటువంటి మారల్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ కూడా ఫాలో అవ్వరు ఏంటి ఒక ఐఐటీ లో చేయగానే ఏదో ఒక మనం ఒక స్థితి ఇంతకంటే ఇంకా బెస్ట్ ఇంకే లేదు ఇంకా మనం అంతా అందరికంటే మనం చాలా అత్యున్నత స్థితిలోకి వచ్చేస్తాం ఇంకేమైనా చేయొచ్చు అనే ధోరణి వచ్చేసి ఉంటుంది ఇండివిజువల్ బ్రైనింగ్ అప్ దట్స్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ సో దట్స్ వాట్ వి షుడ్ థింక్ ఆఫ్ అండ్ లెట్ ఎస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు ది టూ మచ్ ఆఫ్ ద కామెంట్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ ఐఐటీస్ ఎక్సెట్రా వాట్ ది ది థింగ్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐ సీ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ వాట్ ఐ సీ ఈస్ this turn has taken in 1968 when the agitations in telangana started in andhra pradesh i see so in 68 till 68 in any exam i find this copying etc is not that much prevalent earlier to that 68 to that in 68 usmani university it was influenced by the people of communism and people started putting their knife on the table and writing the examination even the examiner will even the even the examiner used to peer to just touch that fellow so that was the 68 by i passed engineering 68 the 68 batch in asmaan university 68 batch is banned if somebody knows about the history earlier 68 batch usman university candidates are not considered as good candidates they have not got seats in some places because they followed that procedure that started in 68 prabhu is saying 69 he started in 68 earlier earlier to that that much not that was brilliant that copying was copying was there when i write examiners also in my anandpur university also copying was there my paper was also taken it's not that copying was not there it's not that prevalent see the <clears throat> the adharma will be always there that's for that uh, the dharma is also will be working that was there in those days and and that another thing what example i want to give is this is one example where the turn has happened the another thing what i realized in 1983 84 when my son passed 7th standard same from st mary's university st mary's college he came back to the house and told me next year i will not read in this school it got a shock for me with great difficulty with paying donation this thing that thing i got that seat for him i came from baroda in 83 and admitted him in st mary's school nearby my uh, office godavari fitness with great difficulty i got seat there begging so many people and paying some donation 
and after one year he comes back and tells me that you i don't study here i got said why why what is the reason why you don't study here i said they are allowing copying here that copying is bad is in his blood that how it has come it has come from the culture in the house so that culture in the house has to be developed first and that how that how it will come because of the shastra reading only if the background is there in the house, they... that will come the next one they... do... yeah please Mahadev ji, these are all what Mr. Prabhu is uh, telling, uh, the, which are not supposed to utter about the IIT and all. But unless we, you know, is a vimarsha, is is not vimarsha, is the inflation. We have to consider I'm not, this. I'm not saying we do not utter. Uh, we are going into the too much on that. We have already mentioned. Yeah. Okay, that's what let, I mean. Let, let, let not the, 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 the on other side. The the so much the Bhagavad Gita is giving is it, all to come out of such uh, you know vicious circle. Uh, what is going on today? Uh, there is a, a way. There is a method. There is a, even not just for life life sciences to uh, Swakalyan Vishwakalyan, but also the Bhagavad Gita essence is of one who is devoid of attachment, who is liberated, whose mind is established in knowledge. Who acts for the sake of sacrifice? All his actions are dissolved. Such a wonderful the uh, spoon feed uh, Bhagavad Gita is giving. Uh, that is the what it has to go into the minds of the people. It is not just uh, is the management skills and uh, your uh, uh, you know life uh, uh, enjoyment and uh, the real true uh, life what it is. So uh, certainly Prabhuji is. Uh, Uh, making uh, sincere efforts, what it ultimately it comes out of that Bhagavad Gita, the other one, what it brings, dharma, what it brings, dharma, etc., etc. They are all certainly what you said. Certain uh, areas where we should not emphasize more, but the other side also uh, is wonderful things are uh, coming in this uh, session. So nice. Yeah, that's very nice. I agree with that. I agree definitely. I agree with that. And what I want to say in that seventh is that they are allowing the hostel students to copy there. The hostel is from yeah. so missionary school hostel. So missionary school, they are being allowed to copy and then uh, do these things. And this fellow being a rank candidate, he got felt bad. So then I put him in Barbi Javan after one year. I said, you try to study this year also here and get good marks. Good rank. Education. The next year I will try to get good issue. So Education. next year I should go to Bharti Jawan Ghat. Now his his nature, his work, his behavior as much different from normal person. No, we have to. Bharti Jawan education was good. So we have to see these things when we when we select the schools also, and this the mechanical system of education has created this type of away from our culture, which was there earlier. And that was been followed last seventy five years also, and spoils the whole education system and mentality of the modern children, and that is the result in IITs etc. What is happening nowadays? And the ultimate thing is suicides are happening where they are not getting the desired results. The real candidates who are strong, uh, uh, we have got that attitude to become a top, and they, when they see the all other things are bad around them are happening, they are getting disgusted and going to suicide. So this is the duty yeah, of. But your kid. talk, now they do. You are saying, and Mr. Prabhu saying, yeah. One incident I will tell you, Doctor V R K Rao, my uncle, who is the first IIT doctorate from Bombay, he was uh, you know taking me to the university. His uh, uh, colleague, uh, not colleague, his classmate was a hydraulics uh, uh, professor. He asked, "How are you?" Then what, Mr. Uh, A surprise to hear that day. He told me, Mr. Rao, in my uh, all life, uh, so during education, I was the fear of uh, teachers, lectures, and professors. Today, my life is becoming in such a way. I am afraid of students. My life, whole life, is becoming a afraid. So the situation how it changes for their education system and present education system. This is the what we have to really. Highlight and 
change the uh, you know students uh, the way of uh, lifestyle uh, no no fear about teachers and uh, uh, lectures or professors the situation i don't know the present uh, how much is getting improved but certainly this bhagavad gita certainly can bring that the value system please Anybody else? Anybody else would like to? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Prabhuji. Yeah. Dear Prabhu, what I feel mm-hmm. is... Yes. You... One, one, one minute, Dr. Kallan. Kallan, one minute. Prabhuji wants to see something. Prabhuji, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh. Dear Prabhu, I was listening to the whole proceeding. Director, director Prabhu. Otherwise, education... One, sec- one second, sir. One second, sir. One second, uh, Prabhu uh, Kallanji. One second. Dr. Prabhu wants to stay, con- uh, convey something on this. Let him convey, then you can talk. So okay. I am saying there are two different problems. One is the character, moral values, ethical values, and having a commitment to morality. This is one problem. The second problem is the nature of education system. The education system has been spoiled like anything. After Telangana agitation or whatever it is, in fact, there is no real learning. It is only mugging up and vomiting in the exam without understanding the subject. Even today, most of the engineering colleges also, they write exams by reading, marking up all in one. They don't understand the subject. They will simply pass somehow. And without knowing, after the exam, if you ask uh, the same student any questions on the same subject, he will not know. So it's a very diff- dangerous situation in the undergraduate studies in engineering colleges in, in uh, India. And uh, uh, the fake education, I would say, you know, it looks like real, but it is fake. IITs are definitely good in education, but uh, the character part is a big question. Yes, sir. That's all I want. No, Dr. Kalan. Yeah, we agree with you. Dear Prabhu, what I feel is, now, the drawbacks which you brought out about the education system is prevalent everywhere. It is the parents who can possibly mold the children to face the world. They should be growing as good individuals, good human beings. That's what we should do. But for the rest, you know, excelling in the academics and all that will happen. It will happen the way it has to happen. And uh, you have to be only standing a little outside and uh, no, probably, I mean, uh, uh, you know, watch these people, how they are uh, doing. And possibly, if you can encourage them, nothing like it. But too much of involvement into the individual's, you know, personal attributes will only make them hostile. And, uh, you no, know, it should be tackled in a very, very proper manner. And uh, a psychological approach can bring in the desert results. That's what I feel. You don't have to feel bad about anything what is around because we have to live with that. If you start um, blaming anyone, anything happening around us, we will only have time to blame. Okay, this is what I feel. So <laughs> I just thought I should just convey it. Okay. Yeah, you have, to, you have to make a correct point. The, the brought up, the bringing up of the family and the family, the responsibility of the parents is very high in this respect. I agree with you, sir. So, any other person who would like to share or question, Dr. Prabhu? Any, uh, any, uh, any uh, doubt? No, no sir. Yeah, Pankaj. Pankaj uh, yeah, who's speaking? Pankaj, Pankaj ji, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> Namaste Guruji. Uh, no. uh, uh, slightly late I joined, but it was very, uh, very, uh, uh, very good session. Uh, my doubt is related to Karma Yoga. Basically, uh, working in a co- uh, in an organization, and here always there is a uh, right karma. Uh, what is our duty? We should uh, do that. Don't focus on results. But in organizations, they are always pushing us uh, for getting the results. So here, my my question is how we can align our um, uh, uh, learning of Bhagavad Gita to the professional uh, life. Okay, 
I'll answer that is a good question. Uh, you, the, the statement which you made has to be modified. Karma uh, yoga does not mean uh, don't achieve results. You understand what I mean? Okay. Karma yoga says you you have to achieve your results with perfection. Skill yoga karma su kaushalam. Kaushal ke saath aap karm kijiye. Kaushal ke saath aap karm ko pura kijiye. Ye aisa bol raha hai. Ji guru. जी गुरु जी जी लेकिन एट द सेम टाइम ऑब्सेशन नहीं मेरे को प्रमोशन मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा तो मैं क्या करूंगा मैं भूखा मरूंगा मैं चले जाऊंगा मैं रिजाइन करूंगा इस तरह का जो सोच है उसको वो खत्म कर रहे भगवान कृष्ण ये ऑब्सेशन जो है मतलब उसके बाद में क्या होगा अब जो कर रहे हैं वो करना चाहिए परफेक्टली कीजिए तो लेकिन बाद में क्या होगा ये सब सोचना बेकार है जैसे आईआईटी का कैंडिडेट है आईआईटी का कोचिंग ले रहा है वो पहले से पहले दिन से सोचने लगेगा कि आईआईटी मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा सीट मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा तो नहीं मिलेगा तो क्या करूं इस तरह सोचा तो वो बिल्कुल फेल हो जाए सो so, लास्ट में क्या होगा उसके बाद क्या होगा प्रमोशन मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा ट्रांसफर होगा नहीं होगा ये सब नहीं सोचे केवल आपका हाथ में जो काम है वर्क इन हैंड यू डू इट परफेक्ट दैट्स व्हाट इज कर रहे टू माय ओके थैंक यू धन्यवाद गुरुजी सो इन शॉर्ट व्हाट इज व्हाट इज सेज इज कर्मा योगा व्हाट इज सेज इज यू डू द वे इट इज सपोज्ड टू बी डन से इन एन ऑफिस फॉर एग्जांपल ए पर्टिकुलर पर्सन ए मैनेजर मार्केटिंग पर्सन इट शुड बी इन हिज ओन पर्सनल प्रिंसिपल वे ही शुड फॉलो हिज प्रिंसिपल्स एंड डू इन दैट वे ही शुड नॉट थिंक ऑफ अदर डिपार्टमेंट एंड देन कंपेयर एंड ऑल दिस अदर प्रोडक्ट अदर डिपार्टमेंट पर्सन ऑल द थिंग्स लाइक so there should be a particular way of system will be there for every section of every discipline you follow the discipline and the results will come automatically so you follow the discipline that is the karma yoga says you follow your discipline what discipline are supposed to lead your life or lead your work whatever it is so there is a particular rules and regulations for way of life to be given that is what vedas give to us the vedas are given for a human being how to live how to lead the life that leading the life the rules have been given the rules follow the rules the result leave it to the god that's what karma yoga says you follow the rules similarly in, in a company there are different departments are there each department has got a particular set of rules and regulations to do that work you follow that rules don't try to uh, sacrifice those rules for the sake of your result and all these things all these things you follow the rules you will be excess, excess, uh, excellent in your discipline That's what it means. You do your duty. Don't think of the result. Result will come automatically when you follow the duty correctly. That's what he says. The important is the mother. Important is the love and affection. You one must have love and affection towards your uh, work. That's why it's called work is worship. Unless uh, without uh, joyful in your uh, work, it is it doesn't. You change the job in case. Uh, if you are not able to joyful in your job the whatever we take the profession must be umanga ullas utsah these things must be there in uh, profession that is the one is joyfully one should do is uh, work is a performance is not the work it is a performing thank you anybody else sir anybody else? any other questions sir ah, okay. okay yeah who is speaking uh, somebody else who is speaking నమస్కారం అండి వెన్ వి అనలైజ్ శ్రీకృష్ణ ఇన్ ద చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ టీచింగ్ విత్ తామ్సిక్ రాజసిక్ అండ్ సాత్విక్ వాట్ ఐ అబ్జర్వ్ ఇస్ అండ్ బై డూయింగ్ ద అనాలిసిస్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ త్రీస్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ద ఎసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ లీడర్షిప్ అండ్ టీచర్ షిప్ ఇన్ గీత You see, in, uh, for instance, the Thamasik. In Thamasik, when Sanjay and Dhritarashtra, both of them were talking, the Thamasik leader requests their teacher and teacher gives the information. Here, the difference between the leader and the teacher, where the leader is the, uh, for instance, uh, Duryodhana or Arjuna, like that. and teachers are Krishna and Bhishma and uh, Sanjay. in the tamasik the leader requests the is the information sanjay gives the information to uh, 
ధృతరాష్ట్ర అండ్ ఇన్ ద రాజసిక్ లీడర్ డిఫైస్ హిస్ టీచర్ అండ్ టీచర్ వాజ్ ఇన్ సైలెన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద రాజసిక్ ఫర్ ఇన్స్టర్ దుర్యోధన దుర్యోధన వెన్ ఇన్ ద వార్ ఈస్ షౌటెడ్ పితామహ వాట్ యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ యూర్ యూ సైలెన్స్ ఈజ్ అడ్రెస్ఇన్ ద భీష్మ లైక్ దట్ విత్ ద రాజసిక్ లీడర్షిప్ so that is to be when the we feel the leader gives such a shouting teacher is in silence the bhishma just silence so that is the rajasik type of character and sattvic leader see the explanation what is given by uh, lord krishna sattvic leader surrenders to his teacher arjuna surrenders to the teacher and the teacher gives the supreme knowledge so the supreme knowledge is given to arjuna that is how this is defined in this chapter i love this chapter and this essence of the leader and teachership is to go to the children or students whatever it be that's what i would like to share with prabhu ji thank you sir wonderful excellent prabhu ji excellent sir excellent idea so somebody else was interested to speak uh, he has come on the line and went back ప్రభు గారు ఇది బాగా విడమతి చెప్పారండి కర్మయోగాన్ని దానికి మనం ఏం చేయాలని అయితే ఇప్పుడు ఈ రోజుల్లో ఏంటంటే వాల్యూ సిస్టమ్ బాగా పడిపోయిందండి ఆయన చెప్పినట్టు మోడర్న్ ఏంటంటే మారల్స్ ఎథిక్స్ పిల్లలకి మనం చెప్పలేకపోతున్నాం ఎందుకంటే మనం కాన్వెంట్ సిస్టమ్ ఆఫ్ స్టడీస్ కానీ ఇంకోటి కానీ ఇంకోటి కానీ మనం ఏంటో ఏదో ఇంగ్లీష్ స్టడీస్ అవి చెప్తున్నాం కానీ వీటిల్లో పెద్ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ పేరెంట్స్ కూడా ఇంకొక ఆయన ఎవరో చెప్పినట్టు పేరెంట్స్ కూడా దాని మీద శ్రద్ధ చూపెట్టలేదు ఏదో ర్యాంకులు రావడం లేదా ఏఐటి కెళ్ళిపోవడం అంతవరకే చూసుకుంటున్నాం కానీ పిల్లలకి మనం ఇంట్లో ట్రైనింగ్ ఇవ్వడం అనేది లేదు ఒకటి రెండోది ఏంటంటే ఈ మామూలుగా స్కూల్ స్టడీస్ లో కూడా మన సెక్యులర్ సిస్టమ్ లో ఈ భగవద్గీత అనేది ఎక్కడ చెప్పట్లేదు సార్ కార్యక్రమంలో లేదు ఒకటి రెండోది ఇప్పుడు రకరకాల ఈ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇప్పుడు భగవద్గీతలో చెప్పండి మేనేజ్మెంట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ అన్ని ఉన్నాయి దానిలో కాకపోతే చూడండి లీడర్షిప్ అని ఒక ఒక ప్రోగ్రాము మోటివేషన్ అని ఒక ప్రోగ్రాము ఎక్సలెన్స్ అని ఒక ప్రోగ్రాము గోల్ సెట్టింగ్ అని ఒక ప్రోగ్రామ్ రకరకాల ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఇవన్నీ పెడతారు కానీ వీటన్నిటినీ భగవద్గీత చెప్తుందన్న సంగతి వాళ్ళకి తెలియట్లేదు సో అది కనుక మనం హయ్యర్ సెకండరీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ నుంచి కానీ ఆ పైన కానీ చెప్తే యాడ్ చేస్తే మనకి ఆటోమేటిక్ గా మన సిస్టమ్ లో వచ్చేస్తుందని నా ఉద్దేశం సార్ అందుకంటే is what you said is that you are should... right yeah, there are two things you have told here by kodran kodan ram one is it has to come from the family parents the second thing is the the education system uh, should include the bhagavad gita as in in curriculum is that the two important aspects which has to be taken care of uh, before that so we, we have taken up this job we have some somebody has taken up this job because before the government takes up something we do on our own so that people come to the understanding and said so people have to be educated they should ask you, can, you want this idea of education so we keep to keep silent the people keep silent government does whatever they like so people should ask in democracy so we should all ask and we should raise our voice and see that bhagavad gita is included in our curriculum this thing including ramayana ramayana also ramayana mahabharatam ani kada bhagavad gita no ramayana mahabharatam mahabharatam is bhagavad gita so both right. are to be included uh, should i speak uh, i i also wanted to the same question that as soon as you uh, include bhagavad gita uh, secularism khatre mein aa jayega this is a very common thing that is happening uh, in india they do not understand that this applies to everybody each and everybody and uh, it is nothing to do with uh, a particular religion particular sect or anything like in, uh, there is a basic basic mathematics i was going through these days uh, it is like that uh, we have whatever mathematics we have uh, understood when i uh, learned from the childhood so addition subtraction multiplication and division there are always there are alternative methods for a particular situation particular methods uh, is most fruitful so if in basic mathematics if uh, if one is taught one can uh, have it that uh, mind gets more uh, you know uh, have the picture of the number system from all angles so 
you have more control over uh, the whole uh, mathematics uh, from the childhood. And uh, very uh, simply, many things can be done using basic mathematics. But as soon as somebody uses this word, basic mathematics happened, and this uh, CPM government of West Bengal, they'll shout that, okay, uh, this is all uh, from a particular political party is coming on and so on. And oh, uh, secular thing, Khatri Mahajaga, as soon as he, something like that. Very silly kind of thing is happening, actually. No, I can uh, I'll respond to this one point. See, recently, I have done one research on finding out what is common uh, between Bhagavad Gita and other religions. Bhagavad Gita is like a big... Hello? Please mute your mics. Yeah. So what I found is I have listed the uh, ethical values given in 16th chapter. You know, just now I quoted you, there are 26 uh, ethical values. Daivi Sampat, they are called. In the 16th chapter, uh, Gautam Sampat, you can see it later. 16th chapter, it gives 26 uh, ethical values. So I have listed that at least 18 of them I try to show that uh, some of them are mentioned in other religions also. Every religion, in their text also, these things are mentioned. That I have done research and I have produced one book on that. So Bhagavad Gita is giving more detailed expansion of the same topics. Whereas the basic principles are acceptable to all religions. And even uh, basic morality without uh, religion also, like uh, law, morality, or even atheistic people you know, who don't believe in any religion. They also have to accept law. They have to accept uh, dharma. They have to accept ethics. Even atheists will have to accept ethics. Communists also. Otherwise, the society will collapse because the law is based on ethics only. What is the court doing? Court is trying to uphold the dharma only. And what are the police supposed to do? They are supposed to uphold dharma. So this understanding itself is not there. So we have to bring that understanding. Sir, anybody else, sir? Anybody else would like to speak or quest, uh, give a question or doubt, raise a doubt? This is a platform for discussion and to bring out the correct thing. Can I speak, sir? Yeah, please, please, welcome. Sir, please. Uh, very good afternoon. Um, Namah Shivaya. Here please I speaking. want to. Who is speaking? Sir, speak. Vivek. Vivek. Who? Sri. Sir, Vivek. 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 Oh, Vivek. Boli. Boli. No. Boli. Akila Ji, Namaskar. Yeah. Boli. I want to ask. I, I want to ask it to the Rao Ji. Uh, uh, there's one thing uh, that there's a lot of ethics and values talks are giving in the Srimad Shri Bhagavatam. But uh, the problem is that, that today generation just want to to learn the quick in a quick manner means whatever if it is if it is a hurdle to earn to earn money then for them this these values doesn't mean anything so this type of uh, value should be incorporated from the childhood only either by the children by the parents or the by the school so it depends on the the parents that they have to choose the teachers is not the school have to appoint the teachers. So whenever the Hindu's parents used to take uh, used to take the admission in, of the students in the school, if they should first mark from which background their uh, the teachers have been coming from, because whatever the children will learn will come from the teachers only. So firstly, firstly we. Uh, we have to see that, uh, that what is the quality is of not coming. You. Hello, yeah, proceed. Yeah, so just I want to say that firstly, we should make the choice that uh, in every area there should be some Vedic partshala should be there. If they, uh, if the children are going in the public school or in the government school or in the some. Christian convent also that we have to keep the full watch. Some, some kind of the Vedic partial teaching should be uh, should be given in the form of uh, 
this Google Meet form. So our organization can also start some kind of the studies for the small children. First, we can start from the Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Bombay, this kind of the cities. Uh, and we can do the online teaching. And we can make the small modules for that. And some kind of the programs have already been started by learngeeta.com. So uh, by the Govind Puriji Maharaj, who is the treasurer of the Ram Krishna Janma Bhumi uh, Trust. Mm -hmm. So this kind of the small model that you can recite the Gita Slokas and the, some meanings and the, the small courses. There's another organization called Samyukta Bharat. They also started the some small courses for the kids. So it is if if there is any Vedic Parchala nearby to any our our, uh, our homes, then it should then the student should be uh, given the admission over there. And if not, then the this Google platform or uh, uh, Zoom platform is a very better for us. This much I want to say. Yeah, you want to talk. 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 They have to be 100% dedicated uh, residential uh, children for welfare sala only. They, school children are not allowed inside. So for school children, we have to have a separate mechanism. So what you gave some examples are very interesting. You see the, the value system, is, uh, apart from just chanting, Gita chanting is one aspect, but the principles have to be, you know, in, uh, impregnated into the minds of the children, like Chori Karna Galat Hai. Jhoot bolna galat hai. Aur, you know, logon ko gumra na galat hai. Is tarah ka... So the voice is very low. Can you please load, uh, talk louder? And, uh, any other mechanism. Pravakar or Mirevant are online. We are planning to deliver the six-month course, Taratan Dharma, online. We yeah, that, that is so that is one of the things which I are thinking of. So, so that's how Santi is thinking of those things and we will we'll try to do that. And this will help slowly to improve this. In the, all our, many organizations are doing this and we will also do. And by doing that only we can make finally the education system also change. I hope the new education policy also is introducing certain things. Uh, these things will improve. Uh, as you said, the Mr. Uh, what you, Mr. Who is this? Uh, Garg, Gargzi told, it is correct that we should uh, select the uh, correct school and which has got the correct teachers. That is a very important point he talked about. And we have to see what type of teachers are there in the school and first what type of management it is. And, and that's why I, a number of times I put in my WhatsApp circles, I put the post, don't admit your child where there is no Saraswati Pradhana. When there is no Pradhana for the, our own gods, the culture, how the culture will come to the children. So a number of times I put in our circles that don't admit your children where there is no Saraswati and Ganesh Pardana is there in the school. Don't admit your child there. The moment you admit child in those schools, the fellow will change your culture and you will not get our cultures. Our culture is definitely based on Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharatam and Ramayanam and these things are our culture, our blood. So sir, we, are, we, can, parents, we can make a one letter. So we can, we can write one letter to the Prime Minister to the Home Minister to the Culture Minister and the Education Minister, and Central Education Minister, that there should be some mechanism for the online courses like this. Soyam is already running, Naptel, Soyam, for the higher classes. They are the uni university courses, they have al already been running. E Partshala is there, E Pustakala is there. They are already online platform for the higher education. But for the small education, what they are having, I don't know. There's some kind of the uh, uh, Saraswati Vandana, all this kind of the small courses uh, for the kids should also be started by the central government. This, this yeah. is a, a part the what the government can do, that's I'm telling. And some kind of the online courses can be recognized from the government. Means we can provide the teachers, but the certification should be get from the government. So online classes can be, uh, can be conducted, but the certification will get from the Ekal Vidyale because Ekal Vidyale is uh, there are more than uh, 5,000, at least 1,000 schools are running Ekal Mahavidyale 
by this RSS and uh, Shubhash Chandra Goel, the the owner of the ZTV. They are running more than thousand schools, Ekal Vidyalay. So they can. That was recognized by government. Yeah, it's recognized by the government. Ekal Ekal Vidyalay. So we can we can make use by such uh, uh, entrepreneurs. They can fund it and they can start the online education. We can provide the good scholars from our own society. Society many many scholars maybe. Uh, Akila ji also know many uh, scholars. I know all many scholars. So we can take their help to make the some programs. The what kind of the syllabus can be inducted in that? And from the ekal vidyalay, from the government, we can get the certifications. Then the ekalavya, ekalavya, ekalavya vidyalay, Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I, I got your point. I got your point, sir. I got your point. So sir, one thing more have... for me. I want to learn yeah. Telugu. Is there any yeah. online mechanism to learn Telugu? So people are there who is teaching online Telugu. Uh, we'll see. We'll we'll share it to you. Uh, okay. And, uh, you can ask in the group also. Anybody who can teach online Telugu, they can uh, contact. Thank so you. then they will they will get the information. Many people. So okay. that's, now the Dhanne present thing is regarding Sanatan Dharma and this, these things, coaching online courses should be started. And already Sanskrit Bharati is having one program and Balanandam, Balakendra, Balakendra programs. So they teach children between three years to 12 years in the name of Balakendra. So that is always teaching how what, what slokas are to be told, what to recite in the morning, what other slokas are to be learned. And Sanskritam along with the concerned slokas that will be learned by them, which tell about this, our principles of our life. So those things are there in Balakendra program is there. And some other things are also there, but it should be more propagation is required. And we are also thinking of with Dr. Prabhu's uh, association. We are also thinking of Sanat Dharma courses in a, uh, in a modest way, three months course, one month course, six months course, one year course, two years course. We are thinking like that. And, and some other people also are already thinking of starting these things. Hope things will improve in future. And, uh, and main thing, main thing what, what I want to stress is, don't admit your child where your culture is not being taught. Don't admit there. Why do you admit there and just afterwards go on weeping? It is definitely 100% you pick 1 lakh, 2 lakh donations in community schools where your culture is being spoiled, you are losing two. One is you are losing your money and you are losing your child also from your culture. And finally, you become as a neutral. So this concept is very important things that is to be coming to the our circles. Unless that is properly understood by the parents, I should put my kid in a good school where my culture is being taught. They think that only English is being taught. They are there, they call it they teach good English. They are looking at that. They are not looking at our culture. And the culture means our dharma, culture means our dharma, not only dharma, good qualities, good, at, good attributes like what Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, Mahabharata teaches us. These things. The way of life, the correct way of life. And the secular point of comes this one, why, why is a secular? Why should say Bhagavad Gita is not secular? Who can say Bhagavad Gita is not secular? That is to be properly understood by why is to be reason. Bhagavad Gita is, is, itself is a secular book. The Sanatana Dharma itself is secular. If somebody is reading Sanatana Dharma, he is secular kind. A, 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 a culture which is being told that madrasas are not cultural. A fellow, fellow who, who teaches that you do this only, otherwise I will kill you. Is it secular? So that type of things to be avoided and you follow this only, then only it is secular. You don't pray any God, then only it is secular. So these things are wrong ideas being, being put into the college schools. Don't, uh, don't follow your culture. Let, let, let them teach the 
what culture you have, you follow that culture. Good culture. This is the good culture. What is good culture? It should be taught, told. And that should be followed. No, one is parents' responsibility, second is the school's management responsibility, and, and third is government's involvement in a good, good things. All the three things should come, and as a separate bodies like us, where some, some things, what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to start a small time courses and educate the parents also, not only children. We educate our parents, the middle, the, the people who are putting their children. They are themselves are in dark now. They are carried away by wrong feelings of the Western mindset. So, so our target of Western society is to educate the generations, the next generation. First generation, second generation, third generation. So the, in a different way. That is our target. In that way, we are proceeding. Whatever little we could do, we are trying to do. So thanks for all your help, all people, for cooperating us and joining us in these courses. And anybody else would like to speak? Any questions? Hello. Any... Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Prabhakar, Dr. Prabhakar. अहम् प्रभाकरशास्त्री संस्कृत भारती कार्यकर्ता हाँ वधत महोदय वधत महोदय I would like to speak because everybody knows English I would like to speak in English स्वागतम स्वागतम तसाई बात करो We have made a small experiment with a one a few schools where we have gone and taught these children सरला सुगमा इत्यादि उस्तकारी तत्र uh, we have gone there, talked to the management, and uh, introduced the Samskrita Bharati published books, Sarala, Sugama, Ityadi. They have accepted as a language to learn the new language, one thing. Along with that, a few slokas and our culture and uh, uh, the best part fit with examples because. Uh, with that, we could continue with a few, few schools. Because of COVID, now we, are, we could not continue that. But uh, after this spell, we'll be continuing that. I think uh, instead of waiting for some governmental organization to make some arrangements or whatever it is, in our area, we can contact a few schools where we can exert some influence and talk to the management personally one or two people in the area, take them, and then slowly introduce, uh, whenever the examination pressure is not there for the students, take a few one class like that, and, uh, and especially not more than 40, 45 minutes, then people will be interested to know one thing is new language. The other is people will be definitely they'll be interested, the, the management is also interested. Say. Then we can introduce some, a moral class like that, we, especially wherever there is no examination pressure. We can select a, a, a period of uh, three, four months like that. We can go and talk to this and we can make a small experiment like that. I think uh, a few of us at least can do that. Not good all idea. It's a good idea. People are already doing this. We have also. Probably. Do this. Probably doing it. They are many. <laughs> Prabhuji, are you talking something? Yeah. yeah. I Prabhu? was saying whether the management are allowing Sanskrit Bharati teacher to go and teach. Yeah, yeah, some, some schools are allowing, sir. I also uh, participated in colleges. I, gave the, I also gave the lectures in some junior colleges, etc. And they, have, they are allowing us to take a class and uh, explain them and conduct our 10 days uh, Sanskrit Bharati speaking courses, Sanskrit and speaking courses. I conducted various schools in Malkasgiri, but uh, little, little, uh, little birds school and some other schools, uh, some other uh, Siddhartha junior college, some two, three colleges I, we have. Conducted that, and Sanskrit Bharati is doing excellent service on this. Other than this, Sanskrit Bharati is running online course, online Balakendras they are running. Thousands of people are joining. Yes, exactly. I know. COVID, I know. COVID is a COVID is a blessing for 
संस्कृत भारती टू बी फ्रैंक आफ्टर को स्टार्टेड संस्कृत भारती को आईन को इनक्रीज वेरी मच आईन को फर् दिस बालकेंद्र आर इनक्रीज लास्ट इयर अबउट मोर दीपल बालकेंद्र इट इज इनक्रीजिंग नौ and sanskrit bharati is actually working on that very well it's going ahead so we are supporting sanskrit bharati i am also sanskrit bharati uh, malkasgiri adhyaksha so we are doing these jobs so and that is one aspect and similarly vyasam samiti is starting now 6 months sanadharma dharma course now we will we will do that prabhu ji is uh, helping us in this in this matter next anybody else uh, i have i have yeah uh, i have one more venue uh, to talk to share yeah, you see in the intermediate courses children and students take uh, optional subject you know sanskrit yeah. to get marks that is the yeah. now also it is going on in at least in nepi and telangana telugu yeah. you see one what we can make is a subject we can make bhagavad gita and uh, ramayana uh, books and we can request the boards and education departments so that put it, to start with at least to make it an optional subject for the students so that that will give some uh, uh, thought for the other students as also to follow and this bhagavad gita and ramayana is an optional mm-hmm. subject in intermediate to start that's what i would like to share yeah they are giving only fundamental sanskritam uh, that's all they are not uh, giving the this uh, bhagavad gita books and other things so that is what is your suggestion is very good that is that is to be taken in by by intermediate by the by the time the student completes intermediate he should be master of bhagavad gita yeah that's then he will right. be a real then he will be a real boy real citizen yeah. of kind yeah, we can change the names otherwise you can bhagavad gita and ramayana we can change the name like ancient something like that some knowledge or something we can try to book uh, give a good title for that like the book can suggest and uh, not like bhagavad gita and ramayana so that this is the essence of the bhagavad gita and ramayana is an optional subject that we can make a title different title so that it will attract the people <laughs> see the moment you put sanskritam they say it is uh, it is uh, secular <laughs> not secular <laughs> it is hindu that is the problem the moment you said sanskrit so it was anyway that is a good idea is, that is to be done that is done i hope this uh, uh, now the present education the new education policy has definitely included importance to sanskritam and uh, that will take up i i, I have got a hope now that will take up when once they are implement that from next zone or onwards or so mm-hmm. we have to support that and more and more people should come to support that anybody else uh, that babu would like to speak you have got any idea to uh, to tell or anybody else Who want to hear uh, Mahadev, I, I just want to share uh, Mahadev, yeah, uh, yeah, tell yeah. me, tell me, tell me. I just want to share some a few points from what yeah. all the speakers have expressed till now. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know this uh, online uh, Zoom classes on Bhagavad Gita. Uh, there are I'll tell about uh, West Bengal where they have included in the high school syllabus because yeah. I have a teacher there who is teaching Bhagavad Gita. and she was telling from 7th standard onwards they are teaching bhagavad gita in central syllabus schools she said the schools names also that i can give you more details in the coming week i can also ask her to come and explain things here uh, where they are teaching bhagavad gita uh, one more thing is there are many online uh, there are many online zoom classes on bhagavad gita in Uh, the uh, in the online you can find it there are uh, buzzing kids for children you know there are many many online classes going on on bhagavad gita that is one is uh, iskon is already doing it there is one sunday school learn gita live gita that is character building through bhagavad gita is buzzing buds like that you know jk yog is also having an online for uh, bhagavad gita for children and there are so many such in, uh, online classes going on we should only be able to identify and some are free and some are for payment also there they are teaching the not only the shlokas the meaning and also the character building that also they are emphasizing there are some classes and as mr vivek garg was telling in geeta parivar it is going on where he told about govindev maharaj ji 
and uh, nearly three and a half to four lakh people are learning Bhagavad Gita every day. That is going on. It's a massive movement across the globe. 170, 163 countries are there in that enrolled. That is there. And uh, as Kochar uh, Lakota uh, Murti sir was saying, uh, in, uh, in uh, the Bitspilani, Hyderabad, where we had a, a speaker from the university, uh, Dr. Aruna Lolla, where, where the Samskuti Samti, we had a seminar by her. Uh, she explained how this was, Bhagavad Gita was an elective from 2010 onwards. And nearly, she has trained nearly uh, 8,000 students in Bhagavad Gita as electives, sorry, 3,000 who have taken it as elective. That is there. Bhagavad Gita is there in Bitspilani. And also, you know, as Sir was saying, uh, the, the, the syllabus, you know, not uh, it should not be named as Bhagavad Gita Ramayana Mahabharata. We should give it a different name. That's what he was proposing. Actually, you know, National Sanskrit University, Rashtriya Sanskrit Vidya Bhit, earlier, now it has been rechristened as uh, National Sanskrit University. They have introduced this a course in 2014 as management of ancient Indian uh, ancient Indian scriptures, management of ancient Indian management techniques, M-A-I-M-T, where Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavad Gita, Vedas, Upanishad, and all the, the all our uh, Shastras, Darshanas, everything is part of the syllabus. So that's going on online even now. And the university has a faculty for it. Everything is going on. Many people are joining and taking it with modern management. That is comparative with modern management. They are having all the syllabus. It's a wonderful uh, post-graduation in uh, executive management. And uh, coming to the this one, you know, these, these things are already available. What I mean to say is, and also, you know, the online courses also many are there where we can all promote it and uh, as everybody has expressed you know we all are also working towards that same cause uh, where Sanskrit Samti also has taken a lot it as a challenge and uh, with the Dr. Prabhu sir I think we all will make uh, uh, things wonderful more wonderful in Bhagavad Gita that's just my expression I wanted to share that's it thank you for giving this opportunity thanks well, a great thing you have done uh, you have taken out a word from my mouth I was about to talk about Bitspilani and other things. You told that. Very good. So, very nice. Uh, what you do is, you have mentioned so many names, you know. Please publicize them in our uh, groups. Sure, sure. I'll give all the links, uh, Mahodaya. I'll, not, say, I'll post not, the links not, to not, you. not once. Go on yeah. repeating it. Go on repeating yeah, it. I'll post like all the months. links. Oh. I'll, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have more than 15 links where they are teaching yeah. Bhagavad Gita in yeah. the country. And also yeah. globally also, where they're giving it for... And uh, Bala Gopalam in uh, the National Sanskrit University, Tirupati, there are... It's both for uh, people, children from abroad. Five years to 15 years, they are teaching Sanskrit. Yeah. Online. So this, uh, this publicize that uh, in, the, in the groups. Yeah, yeah. I'll, give, of, I'll give... I'll give... I'll give that details. I'll give all the details. I'll, I'll just... Uh, Post all yeah. the details, Mahodaya. Yeah, I circulate in my, I circulate in my groups. Yeah, yeah. I'll say, I'll post yeah. it to, to your. And then one, more, one more request. To, one more request to you is please bring the lecturers, lecturers from yes. those uh, from those things to yeah. address our uh, webinars. Uh, definitely. And one more thing, Mahodaya, I wanted to also tell our uh, August audience here that uh, there is one Om Shanti Dham in uh, Karnataka, Bangalore where yeah. they are teaching all the Vedas, Agnihotra, all the Gayatri Mantra, everything, Sandhya Vandan, everything to the student from seventh year onwards up to graduation level. They are tutoring yeah. and it's a residential course. Now, very recently, they announced the admissions where we are also promoting to all the youth uh, wherever possible. So this is a great opportunity. I will send that application also so that you know whoever wants to join they can all join. They'll teach them all the Vedas and it's a residential. It is residential mm -hmm. and everything is also with minimal charge or no charge also. They don't That's charge correct. for it. No, the main thing what I want to tell you is now yeah. call those people, the professors from the yeah. college. Yes, yes. And they ask, will come ask and them, ask them, uh, give a lecture to us so that we will publicize that lecture. Sure, sure. Definitely I'll ask them to come and they will, they yeah. will definitely yeah. they will uh, give a lecture here. They'll yeah. explain about whatever they are doing. Yeah, and yeah, that I can what, that's, what, that's what we don't know. We want to know what they are doing, how they are doing, what are their problems, how they are tackling it. That's what we should like to know. That's all. 
ंगलोर If we if we find time, we can go and have a uh, uh, personal look at the campus. The Lalita ji, please note. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Hari, yeah. Thank you all. Yeah. Anybody else would like to speak? Can uh, uh, are, are you any, getting Babu, the Babu, 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 you have got any idea to share? Dr. Babu, you got any ideas to share? Yeah, of course, I will do that while I speak. Okay, okay, then wait, then wait. So, uh, shall I ask our Vishalakshmi uh, Yaru to conclude the remarks, or anybody would like to speak further? Dr. Prabhu, would like? Can I ask uh, uh, close the session, or anything you would like to speak further? Dr. Prabhu. It's a very good interactive session we had. You can close the session now. We'll follow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. So Dr. Can I speak Shri, one point? Dr. Sir, yeah. uh, who, who wants to speak? Who wants to speak? Who wants to speak? Sir, yes, Vivek Garg is there. Vivek Garg, tell me, Garg ji. Uh, sir, one more thing I want to say that if parents learn, I want the parents should learn something Sanskrit and more because they can give the teaching to the their children. So, yes. one parent from a, every Hindu family. should learn the bhagavad gita and ramayana or whatever the uh, ethic smritis are there whatever they are interest they are having the interest because these things come from the parents also so like the like the i want to say that uh, there is a one course uh, uh, raja bhoj open university of madhya pradesh bhopal have started one course online ramayana course for the mls and mp only two mla from the bjp endorse for that <laughs> even the the government from the in mp is is a uh, is of bjp but only it's that course was started for the mls but only two mla joined this course <laughs> and now they open the course for the government for the for the people also for the citizens also so the parents can learn parents can learn online and they can teach to their to their children Yeah, please post so that link I'm, in the group. Please post that link in the group. Yeah, yeah. and there is a one more program I know that uh, in the March there is a uh, uh, Banaras Hindu University is uh, going to conduct a one Etiya Sankalam Samiti course for the two days. So I want all you that you should also join if those who are having uh, interest in uh, history. That's a good course. But please publicize those things in the groups. And uh, yes. the Thank Nandan Banaras University started a two years uh, Sanatan Dharma course, two years course, two years uh, management course, two years Dharma course, and Hindu Dharma. That is a regular postgraduate okay. program. Is there with them now? Now okay. started after hundred hundred years of formation, more than hundred years okay. formation. So that is Banaras University started now, just like this. Uh, Lalita ji told in one one course in uh, the uh, National uh, National Sanskrit University. that is another good course that is also to be publicized that is also management course in based on our our uh, shastras and other things so these are the things we should publicize and make the people understand these things and i will uh, post uh, in the in the in the group yeah. in the group information you got please post in these things so that we can publicize this then sanskrit bharati i would like to tell here again sanskrit bharati sanskrit bharati this pravesha parichaya shiksha and kovida these four level course is introduction of all these things what you are talking about ramayana mahabharata vedas upanishads and subhashitas these are all the things that are be put in the course in a, in a very low level pravesha just higher level parichaya just higher shiksha like that once you complete these four courses a basic level of understanding of our dharma will be given that's what we are teaching online now correspondence courses Uh, postal correspondence course of sanskrit bharati there is pravesha parichaya shiksha and kovida four level every six months course will be there and that i am teaching now 
I started teaching in 2013 onwards myself as a coaching. Earlier it was not there. Earlier it was just a, write the exam. You read the book and write the exam. It was like that. So in 2013 onwards, we started coaching, giving a coaching for that. So now we are online coaching is there. And there were two students for me in 2013. Now there are 200 students online for me now. So we are coaching Sanskrit Bharati courses, Pravesha, Parichaya, Shiksha, and Kovida. So they can contact me. I'm posting the things in my group. Every group I'm posting that when I'm starting. Again, the next batch will start in March. So please, people can, can join that course, Pravesha course, and go up. Within two years, they can understand any, any Kavya. They can read any Kavya and understand after completing four courses. Not only that, they will get the our Dhana, Sana, Dharma values also they will understand by completing this two years portion. So that's what I am doing last six, seven years. So please strengthen our hands, more, make, uh, make people more and more people to join our courses, Sanskrit Bharati courses of Pravesha, which will be starting in March now. February exam is being completed now. This batch is completing now. People are writing exam now in February. And from March onwards, that course will come, free course, only that uh, registration fees of and uh, book 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 cost only the cost that Sanskrit Bharati charges three hundred rupees or three hundred fifty rupees also. Otherwise, the coaching is full free, six months course. So <clears throat> that's with that I request Dr. Vishal Ashwagaru. Aham api shiksha kaha yeva. Aham prabhagarsha. Aham api shiksha kaha yeva. Sanskrit Bharati ka hansya ha shiksha kaha. Dhanyavad Mahadev. Santosham. संस्कृत भारत शिक्षक कार्यकर्ता अगछति चे आगछति चेत संस्कृत भाषा अहम वेबिनार कंडक्ट कर्त शक्त मम विचार तत्कित मंद मंद चलती सो अधिका जना संस्कृत भारती जना आगत अत्र भाग अधिक कार्य कर संस्कृत भाषायाद कार्य कर मम विचार सहाय आवश्यक आगछत कुर तथा कार्यक्रम अग्रे नयाम अस्त धन्यवाद महोदय धन्यवाद अस्त नंबर ददा महोदय प्रभाकर सर महोदय नंबर ददा फोन नंबर चाट मध्यम स्थापित चाट मध्यम स्थापित चाट मध्यम स्थापित अस्त हरिओं डॉक्टर विशालक्ष्मी महोदय प्लीज गिव युअर कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क्स नमस्कार नमस्कार विद्यार्थुकी युवत की सर्व मानवाड़ की अवसर मैं ये दैवी गुणा भगवदी चपबड़ा मन की जीवित अवसर वाटी आये एनो रेका अंत मन की उपयोग पड़े विधा चक्कर बोध सैशन ज्ञान इपड़ कर्मयोग कर्म अंटे कर्म सु कौशल अंत कर्म गुरी स्ट्रेस दादी चपार विद्यार्थुरी वार ने कल में उठी विद्यारथिनी विद्यार्थुला युवत मानवा नैतिक विवल गुरी पिल वस्तु आ निर्वेदम का अंत ई चू सीट राक चवे सक्स अव लेकते सूसइड लेदा एंत कष्ट चावना सीट राक डिप्रेस अव लाट विषय प्रस्ताव में नाइंट चपाल अंत इपड़ ऐक्चुअली सक्सेस अने विजय अनेंटीद आधार पड़ उ मन कांपटेषन की पिल वेते एलक्यूशन कांपटेषन रिंगो देंटना पद मंदे रास्टी मूड प्रेजल पद लगरी वाई 
అదే వెయ్యి మంది రాశారు వంద ప్రైజులు అని అంటే ఇదే ఒక యాభై మంది రాస్తే రెండో మూడో ప్రైజులు ఉన్నాయనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఎంతో మంది చాలా తెలివైన వాళ్ళు సత్తా ఉన్నవాళ్ళు విషయ పరిజ్ఞానం ఉన్నవాళ్ళు ఉన్నా కూడా అందరికీ ఆ బహుమతు ప్రైజ్ వచ్చే అవకాశం ఉండదు కనుక విద్యార్థులకి గాని మన ఇంట్లో పిల్లలకు గాని మనం చెప్పవలసింది ఏంటి అంటే భగవద్గీత ఇచ్చే మెయిన్ సారమే ఆ మన పని మనం చెయ్యాలి ఫలితం కోసం ఆశించాలి కరెక్టే కానీ దాన్ని పట్టించుకోకూడదు ఏ ఫలితం వచ్చినా కూడా ఏది వచ్చినా అది పట్టించుకోకూడదు ఎందుకంటే ఏ పని చేసినా చేసిన ఫలితం యొక్క ఫలం ఎలాగూ ఉంటుంది చదువుతారు ఇక్కడ సీట్ రానంత మాత్ర నా జీవితం అంతా నష్టపోయేది ఏమి ఉండదు చదువు అనేది డిగ్రీలు అనేవి కూడా జీవితంలో ఒక భాగం కానీ అదే జీవితం కాదు అన్నది మనం పిల్లలకి నేర్పించాలి చదువు అనేది జ్ఞానాన్ని పెంచుకోవడానికి తెలివిని పెంచుకోవడానికి జీవిత పరమ గమ్యాన్ని సాధించటానికి ఉపయోగపడేలాగా మనం చదవాలి జ్ఞానార్జన చెయ్యాలి కానీ కేవలం కాంపిటీషన్ కోసము డిగ్రీల కోసము కాదు అన్న సత్యం చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి పిల్లలకి కనుక తెలిసేలా ఇంట్లో తల్లిదండ్రులు పాఠశాలల్లో అధ్యాపకులు లెక్చరర్స్ ఎవరైనా వాళ్ళందరూ కూడా అలా ఉద్బోధించి చెప్తూ ఉంటే ఈ డిప్రెషన్స్ కానీ ఇలా తప్పుడు నిర్ణయాలు తీసుకోవడం అనేది వాళ్ళకి రాదు జీవన్ భద్రాణి పశ్చతి అంటారు అందుకే మనకి రామాయణంలో ఇప్పుడు తర్వాత మన ప్రభు గారు he used to bang us like anything before examinations <laughs> before examination he used to put a lot of pressure now after the examination the result come whatever comes he is very happy he never <laughs> used to scold us he never used to scold us if i got a less mark okay very good very good he used to say that's all you will get 60 or 70 or 80 90 doesn't matter so that type of thing should parents should develop Correct. they should not blame the children after the results Correct. they should put the pressure on the children while reading okay you read 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 but don't put pressure on the result correct and whatever result comes accept it that's all okay very good let's next time better luck that's attitude should be developed okay carry on adhe ante chadavali ane tatvanni develop chesara aina pass aina enni ekku marks vachina tappu marks vachina adi pillal tappu kaadu etne kurite edi nasichati kotra doshaha ante adhe attitude develop cheyali ఇప్పుడు మన ప్రభు గారు ఎంత చక్కగా ఎంత బాగా ఈ పాయింట్స్ అన్నిటినీ చెప్పారు ఇవాళ తర్వాత జరిగిన ఈ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్సర్ సెషన్ కూడా అంత చక్కగా చాలా బాగా జరిగింది అడిగిన ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళు కూడా లేదా దాని గురించి వివరించిన కామెంట్ చేసిన చెప్పిన అడ్వైజర్స్ ఇచ్చిన పెద్దలు అందరూ కూడా చాలా అద్భుతంగా చెప్పారు ముందు శ్రీ జీబీకే డాక్టర్ జీబీకే రావు గారు చాలా చక్కని ప్రసంగం చేశారు అలాగే ఇప్పుడు ఎవరో డాక్టర్ శ్రీ వివేక్ గారు ఈయన ఇచ్చిన సలహాలు మనందరికీ కూడా చాలా ఉపయోగపడతాయి మనం కూడా కోరుకుంటున్నవి అవే అలాగే మన లలితమ్మ కూడా చాలా చక్కగా మనందరం ఎలాంటి కార్యక్రమాలు చేస్తున్నామో చెప్పారు మీరు కూడా అంటే మన డాక్టర్ ప్రభాకర్ రావు గారు కూడా మన సంస్కృత భారతి కోర్సుల గురించి చెప్తూ మన సనాతన ధర్మము యొక్క పరిజ్ఞానము అవగాహన చిన్నప్పటి నుంచే ఈ నాలుగు ఎగ్జామ్స్ కనుక పిల్లలు చదివి చదివితే చాలు వాళ్ళు ఉత్తీర్ణులు అవడం అన్నది సెకండరీ చదివితేనే ఆ సంస్కారం వస్తుంది మన సనాతన ధర్మము యొక్క ముఖ్య సారము అందరికీ కూడా అర్థమవుతుంది ఆ జీవన పద్ధతి మనం అలవర్చుకోవాలి మీరు చెప్పింది ఒకటి చాలా బెస్ట్ అండి సరస్వతి గణపతి ప్రార్థనలు లేనటువంటి పాఠశాలలలో పిల్లలని చేర్చకూడదు క్రిస్టియన్ స్కూళ్లలో చేర్పించి మన పిల్లలకి మన సనాతన ధర్మం గురించి తెలియట్లేదు చేతులకి గాజులు వేసుకొని ఇట్లా బొట్టు పెట్టుకొని ఇట్లేదు అని మనం అనుకుంటే ఏం లాభం కనుక మనము మంచి పాఠశాలలను ఎంచుకోవాలి ఇంట్లో ముందు తల్లిదండ్రులు అసలు ముందు తల్లిదండ్రులకి సరైన అవగాహన ఉంటే కదా పిల్లలకి చెప్పడానికి ఈ కాలపు యువతకి అంటే వివాహమై పిల్లలు పుట్టిన వారికి కూడా చాలా మందిలో సంపూర్ణమైన చక్కని అవగాహన లేదు కొంతమందికి సంస్కారం చక్కగా ఉంది చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ఆర్థడాక్స్ ఫ్యామిలీ అని అంటారే తల్లిదండ్రుల ఆ వెంట్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ అని ఆ వే ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ ఉండాలి 
జీవితంలో ఇంట్లో గనక తల్లి పూజ చేస్తూ ఉంటే పిల్లలు కూడా పూజ చేస్తారు ఇంట్లో అతిథులు వస్తూ ఉంటే వారిని తండ్రి గౌరవిస్తూ భక్తి ప్రపత్తులుగా వారిని సేవిస్తే ఇలా సేవించాలని తెలుస్తుంది నానమ్మ తాతల్ని కొడుకులు గనక ప్రేమగా గౌరవంగా భక్తిగా చూస్తే మనవులు మనవరాలకు కూడా వాళ్ళ అమ్మ నాన్నను అలా చూడాలి అని తెలుస్తుంది కనుక ఈ సంస్కారము అనేది మనకి ఇంటి నుంచి రావాలని అందరూ చెప్తున్నా ఆ మాట సత్యము ఇంటి తర్వాత చాలా గంటలు గడిపేది పిల్లలు టీచర్లతో కనుక ఉపాధ్యాయులు కూడా అలా మనము ఎంచుకుని మంచి పాఠశాలలని మన చక్కని ప్రేయర్స్ చేయిస్తూ మన సనాతన బద్ధమైన చదువుని మన దానికి విద్రోహకరంగా చెప్పకుండా మన ధర్మాన్ని గురించిన అవగాహన తెప్పించేలా పాఠాలను బోధించే మంచి పాఠశాలలని ఎంచుకుని పిల్లలను చేర్పించాలి అన్నది చాలా ముఖ్యమైన అంశము ఇంకా ఎన్నో కోర్సులు కండక్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు అన్నది ఎంత నిజమైన లక్షల అనంతమైన మానవాళి ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇంకా అందరూ ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళు కూడా ఎవరి వంతు ప్రయత్నం వాళ్ళు చెయ్యాలి కనుక మనమందరం కూడా మన సంస్కృత మన వేద సంస్కృతి సమితి సంస్థ పక్షాన సంస్కృత భాషని మన సంస్కృతిని మన సంప్రదాయాలని దైవము అంటే ఏమిటి అన్న అవగాహనని అసలు జీవితం అంటే ఏమిటి ఎందుకు జీవితం అనేది మనకు వచ్చింది ఈ జీవితాన్ని ఎలా సార్థక్యపరచుకోవాలి జీవితంలో ఏది సాధించవలసింది సబార్డినే ఇప్పుడు మహాభారతం ఉంది గురు పాండవుల కథ మెయిన్ కథ నడుస్తూ ఉంటే పక్కన వందల ఇతిహాసాలు ఆ వంద వందల ఉపాఖ్యానాలు అనేక కథలు అనేక బోధలు అనేక సోత్రాలు సైడ్ న ఎలా ఉన్నాయో అలా పిల్లలకి చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి మన ముఖ్య గమ్యము ఏమిటి అని అంటే ఈ జీవాత్మ పరమాత్మని చేరగలిగి ఇక పునరావృత్తి రహితమైన ఆ వలలే ఈ సృష్టి జనన మరణ వలయం నుంచి బయటపడేలాంటి ఆ జ్ఞానాన్ని పొందాలి ఆ చిత్తమైన ఏ జ్ఞానం ఉందో ఎగత్వా నని వర్చంతే అన్నట్టుగా దాన్ని తెలుసుకోవాలి అన్నది వాళ్ళకి మెయిన్ గా చెప్తూ దాని పక్కనే ఐహికమైన ఆముష్మితమైన అన్ని విద్యలు కూడా ఈ లోకంలో సుఖంగా ఉండాలి పేరు ప్రతిష్టలు సంపాదించుకోవాలి మనిషి పుట్టినందుకు ఖచ్చితంగా కీర్తిని ఆర్జించాలి వారి వల్ల పది మందికి మేలు జరగాలి ఈ మానవ ఉపాధి ఇచ్చినందుకే పరోపకారార్థం ఇదం శరీరం కనుక ఇవన్నీ కూడా సైడ్ ఉన్న వాళ్లలో అతి సహజంగా జీవితంలో భాగాలు అవ్వాలి ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఆ విధంగా వాళ్ళని తల్లిదండ్రులు కుటుంబ వాతావరణము సమాజ వాతావరణము మన ప్రభుత్వాలలో ఇలాంటి అవేర్నెస్ తేవడానికి మనమందరం ప్రయత్నం చేయాలి మెయిన్ గా రాజకీయ నాయకుల వల్ల ప్రభుత్వంలోని లోపాల వల్ల ఇన్నేళ్ళ స్వాతంత్రం వచ్చి ఇన్నేళ్ళైనా కూడా విద్యా విధానాన్ని సరైన పద్ధతిలో మార్చే అవకాశాలు లేకుండా ఆ పోతున్నాయి అవి వచ్చేలా చెయ్యాలి కనుక ప్రభుత్వానికి కూడా బాధ్యత ఉంది విద్యార్థిని విద్యార్థులకి బాధ్యత ఉంది తల్లిదండ్రులకి బాధ్యత ఉంది టీచర్లకి బాధ్యత ఉంది అందరము కలిసి ఒకే లక్ష్యం ఒకే గమ్యం దాన్ని మనందరూ చెప్పినట్టు శ్రీ రామాయణాన్ని ఖచ్చితంగా భగవద్గీతని ఫర్షూర్ ఖచ్చితంగా చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి కూడా పిల్లలకి చదివించి కేవలం చదివించడం కాదు దాన్ని సారం అర్థం అవ్వాలి అప్పుడు నిజంగానే ఈ మానసికమైన బాధలు కాని సంఘంలో ఈ మనం ఇప్పుడు వేటికైతే భయపడి బాధపడుతూ ఉన్నాము అలాంటి ఆ దుస్సంఘటనలు ఏవి జరిగే అవకాశమే ఉండదు మనస్తత్వాలలో మార్పు రావాలి ఆలోచనల్లో మార్పు రావాలి ఆ మార్పు అనేది సంస్కారం వల్ల వస్తుంది ఆ సంస్కారము అనేది సద్బోధన వల్ల చక్కనివి చదవటం వల్ల మంచి పాఠాలు చదవడం వల్ల చదివినవి అర్థం చేసుకోవడం వల్ల గురువులు పెద్దలు మంచి మాటలు చెప్పాలి మంచి కథల రూపంలో నీతిని సారాన్ని బోధించాలి అవి హృదయానికి పట్టాలి ఇప్పుడు ఇందాక మన ప్రభు గారు చెప్పినట్టుగా నిజాన్ని చెప్పాలి అబద్ధం చెప్పకూడదు ఆడిన మాట తప్పకూడదు ఒక మాట అంటే దాన్ని నిలబెట్టుకోవాలి పెద్దలని తల్లిదండ్రులు గురువులని గౌరవించాలి హిందువుల మైనందుకు ఖచ్చితంగా బొట్టు పెట్టుకోవాలి సంప్రదాయబద్ధమైన వస్త్రాలు కట్టుకోవాలి జడ దుబ్బుకోవాలి జుట్టు విడ విడిగా వదిలేయకూడదు ఇలాంటి మినిమం సూర్యోదయానికి ముందు నిద్ర లేవాలి చక్కగా స్నానం చేయాలి బ్రాహ్మీ ముహూర్తంలో చదువుకోవాలి దైవ స్మరణకి ఖచ్చితంగా కొంత సమయం కేటాయించాలి ప్రతిరోజు కంఠస్థం చెయ్యడానికి కొంత సమయం పెట్టుకోవాలి 
ఖచ్చితంగా చదివిన దాన్ని సారం గ్రహించి స్వంత పదాలలో మన భాషలో మనకి ఎలా వస్తే అలా చెప్పడానికి ఓన్ గా క్రియేటివిటీ డెవలప్ చేసుకుంటూ చెప్పడానికి వీలుగా ఉండే ఆ విద్యా విధానం రావాలి ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఇప్పుడు సైన్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ గీతలోనే అనే కాదు అన్నింటిలోనూ కూడా మన మహర్షులు ప్రతిదీ వైజ్ఞానిక పరంగానే జీవితానికి ఉపకరించే పద్ధతిలోనే చెప్పారు ఆ చెప్పిన వాటిని మనం గ్రహించి మన పిల్లలతో గ్రహించి మనం అంటే పెద్దలందరూ కూడా మేధావులు విద్యావేత్తలు పెద్దలు గురువులు పండితులు అందరూ కూడా చెప్తూనే ఉన్నారు ఎంతమందో అయినా ఇంకా మన ప్రయత్నం మనం చేస్తూ మన సంఘంలో ముఖ్యంగా మన కుటుంబంలో తర్వాత మన తెలుగు వారందరిలో మన హైందవులందరిలో మన భారతీయులందరిలో ప్రపంచంలో ఎక్కడెక్కడున్న ఏ మానవులైనా కూడా ఈ భగవద్గీత యొక్క సారం ఏ కుల మత వర్ణ వర్గ విభేద రహితంగా సర్వ మానవాళికి శ్రేయస్సుని కలిగించే జ్ఞాన సారాన్ని శ్రీకృష్ణ పరమాత్మ అర్జునునికి చెప్తున్నట్టుగా వ్యాస భగవానులు మనకు అందించారు దాన్ని రియలైజ్ అయ్యేలా చెయ్యాలి మనం మానవుల చేత అలా చేసినప్పుడు నిజంగానే ఈ కలియుగంలోనే కృతయుగంలో ఎలా ఉండేవాళ్ళమో అలాంటి అరమరికలు లేని సౌహార్దత్వం సౌభ్రాతృత్వం ఉన్న ప్రేమతో చక్కగా జ్ఞానవంతులమైన ఆ ఆనందదాయకమైన జీవితాన్ని మనం గడపగలుగుతాము భగవద్ అనుగ్రహంతో ఇది నెరవేరాలి అని కోరుకుంటున్నాను స్వస్తి so vishalakshmi has given the the, the procedure for the parents teachers and uh, uh, managements and government uh, to follow and that is a very important thing she has told now this that's what she has told uh, during this period in telugu and uh, thankful to her and the main thing is that uh, uh, tomorrow she is having our dr vishalakshmi lecture is there on vedavyasa and his vangmayam vedavyasa vangmayam so what vedha vyasa has written and what it conveys in a vihanga vishana will be there in the first uh, bhagam will be there tomorrow and uh, please come everybody is invited to that so please come to that tomorrow's lecture at 4 pm all are welcome swagatham now i request dr babu to uh, give vote of thanks and uh, conclude the session and uh, uh, later we will have shanti mantram and janaka namaha dhanyavaad sir uh... very much thank you very much uh, to uh, dr prabhu and uh, you uh, for a very nice uh, session uh, very very nice session and uh, we're so happy i mean we uh, we got so much knowledge thank you very much dhanyavaad yeah, next dr babu uh, namo namaha uh, sabha ko namaskaram thank you for the opportunity and it is my privilege uh, to say what of thanks to the speaker and all of you today is the second part of uh, uh, the series of lectures we have uh, planned on science and management in bhagavad gita the last time you know uh, uh, dr csr prabhu garu has uh, introduced the topic and this time he has uh, covered karma yoga and uh, you know he is a very busy person and he is sparing lot of time for us and of course you know he has been you know uh, with us almost every week we missed him last two weeks that is the first one first part you take it on 8th january now uh, for two weeks we have uh, we didn't have that uh, we had something else so otherwise we are we are, we meet him every day some of you in this crowd also uh, meet him in the yoga classes he is conducting yoga classes for us uh, every day that is the third week is going to start now two weeks are already over and one batch is already over now second batch is going on and uh, let us all thank uh, dr prabhu garu who is very uh, very kind enough to spare his very valuable time and then uh, prepare the subject and come here and educate all of us uh, 
And then, you know, Dr. Vishalakshi Garu has uh, introduced the speaker and uh, also gave the concluding uh, speech. She has, uh, uh, she is our vice president of uh, BSS. And also she is the speaker for on Sanatana Dharma. And a lot of lectures like, you know, around 20, 25 lectures have already been given by her. And even today also, she has you now spent uh, around 20, 25 minutes telling us how we should follow Sanatana Dharma and uh, educate our children and educate ourselves also. Okay, we have around 35 to 40 uh, participants today. All have you know, participated in the discussions. Especially, uh, we are very lucky to have uh, uh, Dr. G.B.K. Rao Garu, who is the chairman of uh, Sudhama, uh, uh, Pragati Sudhama. He's a very busy person. In spite of that, he spared his time and uh, came to our uh, webinar and gave his uh, expert advice on uh, Sanatana Dharma, how to follow it. But very, let us all thank him for his uh, uh, time and the advice. And we have uh, IVRS Murthy Garu and uh, uh, Colonel Hari Prasad also and besides, you know, many others also in this crowd who have participated in the discussions. Prabhakar Sastri Garu, Lalita Krishna Garu, and then Pankaj, Kodan Ram Garu, Vivek Garg, all participated and made the, the webinar very lively and also informative and useful. And I'm sure that, you know, for the time you have spent, three hours you have spent here, you got, you know, the time uh, value worth of it. Um, actually, we all know uh, a sort of uh, saying that to destroy a country, you don't need missiles and rockets. What you need is simply spoil the education system. Today, we have spoken about that how the education system has been spoiled during the last uh, uh, probably 70 years or so and is still going on. Uh, maybe in some universities to a large extent, but in some universities to a less extent. What, what is the root cause is the uh, culture we are developing. The culture, what is a culture? Culture is, we can define it like this, what we do every day becomes our habit. And the habit of a, a group of people becomes the culture of the group. So we as Indians want to have a good, hab, a good culture in the education system. So what we need basically is that we should start doing good things every day. Whatever is good, that should be introduced one by one, one by one, and make sure that it works. So to that extent, we are also working on that, you know, start uh, uh, educating people. So one thing I have noticed today uh, is uh, 29th of uh, January beating the retreat, that is the finale of uh, the Republic Day celebrations. In this Republic Day, Republic Day celebrations, one, one highlight is there. Of course, besides the drones and then all the you know, show which is going on now, uh, there is one change which is made, which is going to, you know, like what I was telling, change the culture of the uh, group. So the change is that they have replaced one, one song uh, which says abide by with me and which is written by some uh, pastor or somebody uh, during British time. Uh, 
and which is going on for all these years. Now they have replaced with Ye Mere Vatan Ke Logo. Ye Mere Vatan Ke Logo. I took you know, a little time out and then heard that the band playing that. And I really felt happy to see that. Of course, there are other songs, Kadam Kadam Milaija, uh, Badaija, and then also Sare Jahansi. These are the tunes which were introduced before. But uh, this time, uh, for the first time, they have changed this uh, main, main uh, tune uh, to, to Indianize and sensitize our culture. So these small, small things which we do every day in our life, that makes our habits and that makes our culture. So once we know what makes our culture, so we should work towards changing it, you know, not all of a sudden, but every day by, by following good things, what is to be done in dharma by everybody, all of us. So towards that extent, school is the best place. Uh, starting his primary school, like uh, uh, all speakers were telling, you know, you should have prayers, the meaning of the prayers, all those things should be taught in the school itself. That builds up our culture. So let's hope that, you know, we are towards that extent. Uh, now the government has introduced new education policy 2020, which you know has given uh, uh, quite a leverage of what you want to build up as your culture and also given guidelines how to go about it. So let us all of us take advantage of it, take you know guidance from it, and then whatever we do, we should you know do it to build up our culture. To that extent, so we should appreciate and then uh, the efforts of uh, Dr. G.B.K. Rao Garu, who is going to, and also Dr. C.S.R. Prabhu Garu, who are working on starting a university uh, you know, to promote Sanatana Dharma. Now, Sanatana Dharma is not Hinduism, but it is a culture of the people to do good things. It is applicable for every all Indians. So, so to that extent, let us uh, uh, give uh, a big uh, clap for JPK uh, Rao Garu and CSR Prabhu Garu for starting, uh, having such an initiative and then taking us forward towards, uh, uh, towards that end. So these things matter. And we also act uh, VSS. You know, who is conducting, organized and are conducting this uh, uh, webinar, where the Samaskriti Samiti are committed to preserve, promote and propagate the Sanatana Dharma. In that, what we are doing is, uh, we are educating people to learn Sanskrit, which is the basic, you know, of, uh, it is a switch for the complete, you know, lighting system. And also, we are conducting a lot of webinars on Sanatana Dharma, Ayurveda, yoga classes. And also, we, we are working on preserving Vedic documents. So these are the things, the tools which build up our culture, uh, which, we are going, which we hope that it will happen. So let us thank uh, Veda Samaskriti Samiti for organizing this webinar. Uh, in that, you know, Subramanyan Garu, Lalita Garu, Ramakrishna Garu have worked, uh, and also Vishalakshi Garu worked, you know, very hard to make this uh, webinar a success. Let us thank the Almighty who helped us to achieve this. And also I thank all the uh, participants who have given your valuable uh, suggestions and also advice to all of us. Whatever we learn here today, we should not keep it with us. Let us propagate, promote and propagate and give it to others when we go back. Uh, 
थैंक यू फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच नमो नम धन्यवाद सो वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई नोटिस इज दट गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो इज इंटरेस्टेड टू introduce our culture in a right spirit in a small way of course that has been done there is an indication that the main song has been shifted to the our cultural culture song so very nice uh, i didn't notice that i'm sorry as why i, I seen the total program i didn't notice this part is yes, correct i agree now i realize that it's correct so dhanyawad ha babu dr babu who is also vice president of our we some something dhanyawad ha now सर्वे सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कच्चि दुख भवे ओं शाति 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 ओं सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीरक तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मा विषा वै ओं शाति 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 सच्चम वद धर्म चरा सर्वे जना सुखिनो गुरब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सर्व श्रीकृष्णापणमस्तु नम नमस्कार जनगणमन जनगणमनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कंगा विंझ हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्ज्वल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभाशिषमाहे गाहे तव जय गाध जनगण मंगलदायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय